I want to know. What? Hey, man, what is this tear shit? Wait, wait, can we introduce the podcast first? Hey, fuck introducing, nigga. <laughs> what is this tear shit? Negro, can you like, greet the listener before you? Hey, man, it's Sauce Malone. Well, now, what is this tear shit? Right. Hey. All introduce right, everybody. Welcome to the 1423 TV podcast. You have your illustrious, greatest looking member, Chase. We have a uh, special guest, the recurring guest, Mr. Babington himself. Now, do you have Whoa. anything to shout Kane out? Kane Robertson. Boy. <laughs> do you have anything to shout out? Do you have your uh, Twitch to shout out? My tw- uh, y'all go ahead and follow uh, Ruby Kane on mm-hmm. Twitch. Is there any Young other professional none. 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 R U B Y K A N E. Professional gamer, by the way. What'd you say? Oh, gamer. Oh, gamer. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Tier to all of you. Wait, what does that man. shit mean? All right, let me, all right. So, I'm gonna get into my, to my, uh, the co-founder and the founder of the tiers, Jorge and Kane. Will Respectful. you explain? Hey, nah, I'm like the, I'm like the co-producer. He's the co-producer. He's the founder. You're the co-founder. All right. So, at work, I was noticing that. All these dudes are very gay <laughs> and need, need to be put in check just every now and then, every now and then. So I came up with a, a tier system of occurrences and yeah. So you got tier one, which is just the common, just everyday gay jokes. <laughs> just your normal, your normal gay jokes, nothing, nothing harmful, nothing, you know, all cool and all. <laughs> tier two. Which is your normal gay jokes, but directed at somebody <laughs> or directed towards you? Please you please give us an example, please. All right, so tier two is no homo, so don't put me on tier two. Right. But tell when your homeboys, like, I don't know, like, you look cute, come through or something. Yeah. Just, a, just, just, some, just some gay shit directed towards somebody. And then you got tier three, which is could be tier two or tier one, but involves physical touching. So any gay jokes with physical contact is automatic tier three, tier three. And then tier four is, yeah, tier four could be one of two things. Tier four is doing like some really low key gay shit once. (laughs) Like a, a dyke tear your shit out the frame, right? With a fucking strap. <laughs> like, you know, that shit's kind of gay. You're not actually gay because it's a woman. You know what I'm saying? That or tier four could be you doing a lot of tier one, two, or three in like a short amount of time. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you, yeah, if you like in a, in a space of a few minutes, like how Kevin be moving. He'll touch a nigga's <laughs> shoulder, say some gay shit, say some other gay shit. <laughs> and direct, and yeah, say, like, you're, some direct you're on tier four. That's an in, uh, it's like indefinite suspension. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not done, but you might be done. As long as I don't hit tier five, I'm good. And then tier five, mm-hmm. aka Dicko mode. <laughs> 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 that is when a gay is. Wait, what's tier one then? Tier one is sicko mode. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold on, I got, I got a question. Okay. Okay, let's say you suck a dick, right? Oh, hold up, hold up. And you be like, hold up, Ella, you just like, you like, then you, then you notice you don't really like the shit. So am I back down to tier four? No, once it's no, tier five. No, I'm just saying. Tier five, tier five is when something gay has been committed, a hundred percent committed, and that is an automatic suspension with no reinstatement. So, what does it, what does it mean getting suspension? You're, you're, out, just, of you're out of here, bro. You're just, yeah, no. When you're on tier five, hey, look, gay, you're bad into the just, shadow. Yeah, it's, it's no going back, bro. Yeah. You're gay. You're just gay now. You in the shadow realm, bro. There, bro there's no crazy. females you can fuck or anything to get you back down. It's <laughs> you're there, buddy. Yeah, you got there. And that's the tier system. But don't you gotta like, you know, back to my question. Oh God. Oh, God. Bro, this is the gayest is man here, by the way. Your question is sick. No. You suck some dick for but I'm just like, saying, like, what you gotta know something to like. Oh, I don't like that to try it. You know what nah. I mean? If you never try, you don't know if you like it or not. Let me ask you something. I know exactly what he's gonna ask. <laughs> You ever been fucked in the ass? <laughs> no. Do you want, do you know that you would, do you think you would like it or do you know you wouldn't? I know I wouldn't. But you haven't tried it. Same principle. 
<laughs> You're correct. <laughs> I'm correct. Tevin has been fringe fringe tier five all day, by the way. So this wait, year. wait, question. Can you yeah, teeter you on the tier? tier? You should teeter on the tier. Yeah, you should have. No, once you're tier five, it's right. No, but yeah, you, can te- you can you teeter on four. No, yeah, after no. tier five, just, the tiers are gone, nigga. You're on that team now. <laughs> we, we don't now, there's, like, there's cooldowns that haven't been worked out yet. Because you can say a bunch of tier one shit, and yeah. you're not going to ever get to tier five. Yeah, as long as you're not actually like, out here being, you know, nasty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. as long as it's reasonable stuff. But yeah, Shay, you should have been there when we was all in the truck earlier. This nigga Tevin was on the tier. <laughs> My man was on that load management. <laughs> I worked at Rock Frog. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, uh, y'all, y'all want to get going with some quick hits? Or? Oh, yeah. Let's get into it, bro. Come on, dog, stop. <laughs> come on, dog. Come on, fam. All right. Number one, Black Excellence. We actually had two nominees this week. Number one, LeVar Ball. Went out undisputed and said that his son's better than LeBron. And he's selling some water. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's just hey, respect. Hey, where's the water quality, you know? Nah, I forgot. I'll, 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 hey, we'll link it after this. Right. But that's respect, you know, for the OG. Number two, myself. Yeah. What? What'd you do? Because your boy made the Dean's list. Oh! Hey. Hey. Black excellence at its finest. Yes. Thank you, fellas. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, we pass it to Chase since he's the actual host. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, moderator. <laughs> <laughs> Quick hits. <That's> like <laughs> nah, I ain't, nah. Now we have a period emoji coming. Do we need this emoji? You mean like a period, like a girl in a period? Yeah. No. Wait, what? There's like a, there's supposed to be a period emoji that's supposed to be on the way. I forgot. I think it was like red. Red little drops, like the little okay. raindrops. Yeah, I'm good. But I, I ain't gonna lie, I use it for a lot of stuff. There's like a lot of emojis that were confirmed, but one, the well, I'm just saying, if it got blood in it, what are you gonna use it for, bro? Bro, a blood, emoji? blood, a blood emoji. I'm using it for a and lot of shit. Yeah, I'm telling blood, you, blood. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It I support. Be, yeah. I support this emoji. Yeah, it'll probably be like the new 100. This. So it's not you know a period mean? emoji. It's blood. Blood drops. I think. Yeah, but it's like making it like for like period. Yeah, you know, like how there's that one emoji. Like this, so hey, yo, yo what if yeah. what if we like, had really high two hands high five hey what if uh, men okay. what if men had like a cleaning system like what would we have a comma a question mark well, oh, I'm just saying what would it be called no, exclamation right. point Stop question mark? get out of here boy nigga there's a question mark next to your sexuality <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> that was uh, an exclamation point mm. gay <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but now, Shaq got the best voice for that. What? Shaq, get what? with it, bro. What? When he be like, gay? Yeah. What, the gay? Yeah. Like when you say, say it how you quick. say it, nigga, that shit hilarious. Gay. That? No, like when you be like, gay. Gay. Oh. Gay. Bro, <laughs> 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 Uh, Malik Yusuf? Yusuf? Oh, Malik Yusuf. Oh yeah, Black yeah. Excellence, he been down. No, he been down. He been down with Kanye since the beginning. Like that's part of his crew. Right. This nigga did a sh- a show. Like it was a Kanye concert. Uh-huh. Got seven hundred fifty thousand dollars out of niggas, but Kanye didn't know about it. He was never planning on going. Black excellence. He ran away with seven fifty. Why are that's you clapping? What, what the? Hey, that's that's the case, man. Man, hey, I don't support this. If you want to sponsor us? That's all right. Hey, Why would he want to sponsor us? Hey, because hey, we could advertise broke. his stuff. Yeah, we he's broke. broke. He got the seven fifty thousand out of everybody, right? You gonna put that mic next to you? He got the seven fifty thousand, right? Come on. Not seven fifty thousand. Oh, that's too much. Seven fifty thousand. And he said he's broke. Yes. Look, he said he's so broke. Got a whole show. Oh, yeah, that's black excellence. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's almost yeah. a million. Yeah. Yeah. How did no one catch that? How did no one hear of that? That's like what MF do. So he was rapping and shit. No, no, no nobody showed up. up. Yeah, Kanye didn't know about the show. So it, the people came and nobody showed up. It's just yeah. like that Firefest shit. The exactly. Fire festival, oh. Except it was in like a uh. country. But talk about finesse. Yeah, because like talking about how niggas could fall for it. Think about nigga if forty went on IG right now and he was like Drake doing a show in, in a fucking Calabasas tonight, fifty ish, like a head. And, like, yeah, niggas You're will going. pay because yeah. he's. I mean, I ain't, him. but you know, yeah. Yeah, I don't have money Nick, to go, you but have, I would go if I had money. I just want everybody to know, yeah. Chase has an OVO chain hanging up in his car. Hey, bro, stop telling my business to everybody. What, what, what I tell you? OVO chain. Oh, you got an OVO and OVO? Come on. Come on. Oh, that dude got like some animal pieces. <laughs> That's why they're small. They're the trainer set. OVO rosary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, give me the <laughs> yo, what the hell? Where's 
skipping one of those quick hits because I am not a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I forgot why I even wrote that. Yeah, just don't remember. Well, okay. I mean, well, no. Yo, Tevin well, says something that I wrote that. Wait, what, I re- what was the quick hit? Huh? Was it? it was. It's Tevin a pedophile. Tevin a pedophile. <laughs> Bro, he said some super. Pedophile. No, it was. All right, this is what I said. Oh, Yo, you remember? <laughs> yes. Okay. Rory got engaged. So I was. Oh, like, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rory from the Joe Budden podcast got engaged, and me and Tevin was looking at his like his fiance, and we was both like, "Yeah, she wasn't that cute," and he was like, "Yeah, she was a real cute baby though." Wow. Uh-huh. Oh my god, that a baby. he said she looked better as a baby. That, that was like a. That was like a. Come on, bro. Bro, rule on it. I don't think it's pedophile. I think I'm he's, I I think he's tier three in a pedophile. Was I there any was... sexual acts being talked about before? No that? Yes, he, bro, he licked his lips. No, I didn't. If you lick your lips, I lick my lips all the time. I mean, bro, that's. I just said she was a cute the... kid. Like, cute no, no, no. He said she was cute. He... Actually, no, you said she was like fine as a lady. No, I did not <laughs> say that. No, <laughs> <laughs> yo, you're putting words in my mouth. No, I did not say that, bro. Come on, bro. But you're a nasty man. I did not say that. I said, oh, she was a cute baby because she had a baby picture on there. Nah, you didn't say as long that. as no sexual. And then I'll, yeah, then I was gonna say, after. I would say, yeah, you gotta make a pretty adult. Don't make a cute baby. See if you can make a better looking adult. That's all I was gonna say. That's all. Yeah, so all time is just really. I'm hearing like there's some Adobe acrobat shit. Oh my bro. god, just shut up, bro. It's I am like, not. It's not like a PDF file, my mm. Oh my god. Hey, comic co- corner. Oh, we'll do off that to his corner. Right. You wanna do that later? I forgot to do any of that. Hey, y'all wanna go to the movie? Yeah, let's go to movie and mate. All right. I didn't really. I didn't watch the trailer. Tier, tier two. 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 No, I, you directed that. Who was it directed that? You said for your mates. That means all of us. My homie, nigga. The fuck? I don't know. I didn't watch the Pit, Pet Cemetery uh, trailer at all, and I will never finish the movie. So. Wait, you oh. talking about the second one? Yeah. Oh, Pet Cemetery. Have y'all seen the first one? Yeah. You seen it? it? Yeah. I've so, seen it. Like, right, yeah. So you you know how? Right? I don't remember yeah. that shit though. Yeah, you know how the little kid, the little boy comes back, the little three year old chick. Yeah. Yeah, and this movie now is gonna be like his older sister, and niggas don't like it. Yeah, that's gonna be like. Oh, some, I, I thought know. it was scarier to me because it was like a little baby. Yeah. You know, Donnie Darko, you know how they made the one with Mia Kunis? Oh, uh, S. Darko, that yeah, shit is that's, garbage. Yeah, that's probably, that's how I have this one. No, nigga, this is a remake. It'd be like they remade Donnie Darko and it was about his sister. Uh, yeah, nah, trash. Wait, so, why, so wait, what do they do with the second one? They're just—it's the girl now. The boy, boy's gonna stay alive. It's just older sister. Oh, so the boy doesn't like? Does yeah, that no, never now, happen? This pet cemetery one. No, not this, yeah, in this universe? is pet cemetery. They just changed the story. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a continuation. Of the yeah, story. I wasn't gonna see that shit anyway, but trash. Yeah, the first one. I didn't like the first one like that. Yeah, it wasn't that good. I haven't seen the first one, so I guess I was technically going there with like no no bias. Yeah, I never finished it. I, it was. It was old. Yeah, the first one. It, it was old. Yeah, it's good. And it's by Stephen King, right? Mid or just not nah, it's, it's a mid pack, bro. Like, it's not bad, but it's you know, it's cool. Like, it's a movie that's like kind of like the old movies, no more, bro. You know, like old, but old, like scary Children movies? of the Corn and shit. Children of the Corn is scary. Yeah, you think that was scary. The, no, I mean, back then, I haven't seen it since. The Exorcist is still scary now, though. Oh, god, OG version. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of was in my room in the back in the corner. Bro, every Make time sure. that movie started, they in fucking Egypt find a little demon statue. Yeah. Cause I, like, kind of the only it. the yeah. only Exorcist movie I think is really scary is the Emily Rose. Didn't people yeah. actually die on the set of? No, some yeah, actually happened. I mean, I'm talking about the old one, not the new oh, one. Oh, that is not the new the one. The old one, bro, that one's just yeah. There was one that's on the Exorcist who died. Yeah. But not like I in think, the making or. Yeah, I think yeah. you're thinking about Poltergeist though. Hey, Where, like Poltergeist, like. Four of the main niggas in the movie ended up dying in like really weird ways. Like one bitch got in a car accident, some other bitch got cancer, some other nigga like fell off a fucking roof mm-hmm. or some shit. They all, cause they, they made that movie on a fucking Indian burial ground, like in real life. They like, deserve it. Yeah, niggas was like, oh, they shit, was asking cool. for that shit. Yeah, not facts. They was asking for that. Just like the Nibians was asking for it. Alright, Child's Play, new trailer. <laughs> new Child's Play trailer. I haven't seen it. Has anyone else seen it? I saw, I saw it. it. I saw Who it. wants to speak on it first? Let's pass around. Number one, why is it, I mean, I understand we're in the future and shit, bro, but why is it a fucking whole bunch of, I don't know if it's a whole bunch of Chuckies, bro, but I swear I seen like a whole bunch of robot Chuckies. Wait, does nah, this have, does this, nah, there's no no robot. Robot. Oh, it Chuckies. was a robot. Wait, does this have no, they, with the, they just made, they, it's like Chuckies? an AI robot. Yeah, like, it's an AI. Chucky doll, but it's like a robot. It's like an AI. No, it's some, this is a series? They're making a, a Chucky series. No, they, nah, they, why they be trying to kill shit with, Oh yeah, we got that on the docket for later. 
What? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, why every why everything now is like a remake? It's like, bro, on his list, everything we have is like remake shit. Oh, okay. Original. I'm gonna, well, yeah, well, okay. I guess you think they just trying to like have you know the generation that's experience that's like that's what we experience. Until the conversation. Well, I mean, we have more. This nigga just gonna completely yeah, bypass nigga, what the yeah, fuck yeah. I was saying. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> All right, I was thinking, hey, somebody, somebody slap him, him, bro. Hey, uh, the him. original Chucky, that shit still scared me. That's like the first the movie one? Hell, yeah, that ever kept me up at night. What's your favorite? Is that your favorite Chucky? Uh, I don't really like any. Like the that first movie? is the baby where he has a kid. No, nah, that's the one with the girl in the wheelchair. Oh, I have to see the Chucky. What's the one? Is that the one he fucks that? That's the bride of Chucky. When he has a kid. No, the one I'm talking about is when the girl in the wheelchair is first introduced. He finds out that she became a cripple because. Yeah, Chucky, Chucky, sta- Chucky. Chucky stabbed the uh, the woman that was pregnant with the girl in the stomach. Man, they should have just because because she curved him. Hey, real. I mean, for the woman that she kept the baby. But yeah, nah, that shit looks <laughs> like shit looks like trash. I haven't seen it. But I, I feel like it's gonna be another one of them horror Can movies. Can you tell uh, Chucky's like CGI? Is it like no? I mean, like you don't really see him. It's just you see like they're talking about how he's like smart tech and all this. Oh. Uh, I feel like he's gonna be like a Google Home, but in a doll or some shit. They should do a movie. Alexa. Like that, right? Fuck. Don't they have a Smart House movie? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Smart House? <laughs> hey, Smart House <laughs> is way different. That shit's gas. I haven't seen that movie in years. Hey, it's still... It's just still it's a, that's a Disney original. Yeah, yeah, that shit still hits. But yeah, nah, this shit look like trash. Trash pack? Facts. Like, bro, it seemed like it's going to be another one of them horror movies now, like It and stuff, and like the new Halloween, where it's a good movie, but it's not scary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, with remakes, you just need like... Y'all want to talk about the well, not a necessarily a remake, but a sequel of another movie like Zombie uh, Zombie Land Two. I still I haven't I've seen Zombie Land One. I seen Zombie Land One like a I heard ago. I heard that shit's funny though. Yeah, that is. I, I haven't I, seen. I, it I just don't remember the. Ending. Do you like it? Zombie Land? Yeah. Do you are you excited to see the second one? No. Why? Because I really not into sequels like that. Depending on if it's a franchise that needs a sequel. Yeah, no, nah, I haven't seen this new shit. Zombieland One is straight to me. Bro, it seemed, it's, 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 like yes, it. it seemed like another one of the Pineapple Express movies. I don't think those movies need sequels. So I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I like, I like the kind of I don't fucking know. Yeah, like if they made a super bad sequel, nigga, that shit would be garbage. Yeah, they, would. Cause the original they would try one so hard to make it better. Anybody? What are you going to say? The original one, what? What? No, I'm saying it's a classic. Oh, I'm thinking the original you know. was a classic. Dude. Facts. Brad, bro, because fucking Jonah Hill and him is like 50 years old yeah. now. Like they couldn't even pass us right. like 20 something. Nigga look his like he's 90. Seth Rogen and his friend Evan wrote that shit when they was in fucking high school. For real? And they just put the movie, they ended up like, you know, having the uh, resources and stuff once they got into acting and they put the movie out. And they were the cops, right? Bro, them yeah. niggas fell out. No, like, so uh, no the other guy, his friend was the director. Oh. But he's not an actor. He always writes and directs, but Seth writes and acts in the movie. Mm. That's why they name it Seth and Evan. Mm-hmm. You know, Seth and Evan. Them niggas fell off. Who, Seth, Seth, Seth and Seth Evan? Rogen? It's Seth Rogen and Preacher. He, he put out he's like three He's still my guy, though. No, movies. him and his friend, they, they helped with that. Bro, he put out oh. like three classic movies in like two years, and he hasn't made a good one, I don't think so. Like, bro, Superbad came out like 2009. 07. 07. 07. All right, so in the space of five years. They had that. that on they had Pineapple Express. One of the GOAT movies. And then they had This Is The End. Ever since this then? Cool. Trash. Even though Knocked Up. I'm not knocked thinking about movies, This Is The End. But Knocked Up is a classic. Even though that's like, not Knocked Up. Nah, that movie's boring to me. I like that. Yeah, but Knocked Up. He should have just. Wait, isn't that 40 for 40 thing? Bro, if he would have just hoarded, he'd get punched. Oh, yeah. The one with Paul Rudd in it. This is 40. Oh, that was it? I didn't mean to say that one. That was crazy. The one with Paul Rudd in it. This is 40. Oh, that was it? That is. Knocked Up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wait, that's a spinoff? It's a sequel. Yeah, because, you know, Paul Rudd's character was. Paul Rudd's character was in Knocked Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they get their own movie or whatever. Damn, you heard that movie Juno? Yeah. Garbage. That was boring. Boring as fuck. That shit was. Even though I watched it like nine times, bro. Why? No, to get killed? No, it's because oh, the, baby didn't, <laughs> the baby didn't even get killed. I know, but bro, that shit's weird. Man. It's just because it always used to be on. Fucking adult status nigga fell in love with a high school girl at the end. I was like, Who, Paul Rudd? Yeah, I was like, why am I watching? That one Paul Rudd. That was Scott. I mean, I think it was Paul Rudd. <clears throat> was it? No, nah, I want Paul Rudd. That other guy. Hold on. I haven't seen the movie. I'm Can't think of his bro. name. You never seen Juno? Because every time I watched it, it was boring. So I don't know. I, I just don't like. Oh, that's the movie that launched like Michael Cera though. Yeah, Michael Cera. That's how. I'm just saying. Hey, Scott Pilgrim. Juno come cool, but they want to talk. Oh, Jason Bateman. Yeah, Jason Bateman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now nah, he yeah. look old, too, bro. Yeah. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, nigga. Zombieland 2? Sure. Are uh, Shaq, since me and you... Wait, you seen Aquaman? Yeah. Yeah, I seen Aquaman. 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 Yeah, I seen Aqua
No. You see, bro, hold on. Well, it's I, not I, worthy. Hey, hey, Sha- it's Shaq. They, 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 they say they're making a spinoff about the trench. How you feel about that? <laughs> Same. All right, let's let's move on. <laughs> oh, uh, James Cameron said what the name of the next Terminator movie is going to be. I don't want another Terminator movie. It's called Dark Fate, and it's about like Sarah Connor. You saw the poster? It was like mm-hmm. her and two other girls. It's gonna be like female century. They said like how that old ghost, the new Ghostbusters was. Trench. Damn. I forgot that shit was coming out. Or did it already come out? Yeah, what, that, like was, yeah, that came out a while ago. Nigga, the all girls go busted? I didn't even see it. Nigga, that shit came out three years hey, ago. That's not even worth pirating. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, ain't they coming out with another Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah. It's, about, it's gonna be about kids this time. Okay, yeah. I know I wait, they're making a re- another one with kids? Yeah, and it's gonna be the one nigga one. who directed the first one, his son's directing this one. Oh. Because that nigga's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but alright, bro. Yeah, no, I put this on after seeing what we had to talk about. Nigga, our original movie's dead? Bro, it's just because they know, you know you're going to get sales off of, like, sequels and, like, remakes. Because, like, with good old movies, you know people are like, oh, bro, like, the old one was so good. Like, I bet the new one will be, like, nice. And so you're, you're almost guaranteed some ticket sales from, like, remaking movies That's and nice. doing a bunch of sequels. Because that new, that Ghostbusters movie... It didn't make good money, but it made more money than it should have because that shit was yeah. trash. Once you got the fan base, people are going to watch the movie no matter what once you make hey, that sequence. Y'all think they'll make more money if they don't uh, release trailers? No. Because no. you need to build that anticipation. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Go see Shit, because we be like niggas who be on the internet and shit all the time. Yeah. But you got to think like normal people who make up. Yeah, who make up most of the people that go to the movies. Mm-hmm. If they don't oh, see that a movie yet, if they don't see that a movie's coming out, they not gonna know right, that it's coming no, out. Like, they'll, they'll make like, they'll make, like a public like announcement a though. Novel. They'll make like a public announcement in like some way, which is advertisement, but like they just don't show the trailer. If it's a Marvel movie, Even like Infinity War or something like that, if they drop it like that. I think they give like a week notice, but even if that, bro, even then, cause I not, feel like trailers, bro, you, in the you gotta think, nowadays. cause like people gotta prepare for type of stuff. Yeah, like goddamn eight trailers, and you damn near seen the whole movie. Yeah, but then when you have a movie, oh yeah, no, nah, Spider Man did that a lot. But like, bit. if you have like an Wait, original movie, the Homecoming, oh. they showed a whole second part. But what's up? But if you have like an original movie and you don't have a trailer for it, like nobody's okay. gonna know what the fuck okay. it's about, yeah. so they're not. gonna Oh, you saying only for like sequels? Let's see. Bro, the only thing well, I'm just, I think, only I'm, I'm really talking movie, about like I the think, remakes. That's what I was thinking. Oh, bro, like when somebody's see. like, "Oh, Matrix Five is coming out." That's a thing. That's that's, a that's why niggas are mad at Pet Cemetery because they show that girl's gonna die in the movie already. Oh, yeah, but in the Pet so. Cemetery trailer for the first one, you didn't know nobody was gonna die. You yeah. just saw the fucking animals and shit. Yeah, which that's true. I don't like that either. Though. A lot show, of yeah, a lot of trailers they be showing you, bro. Fucking uh. Glass showed a bunch of shit too that happened like yeah. in the second half of the movie. That's because why that shit was oh, mid. Not spoilers, nigga, why not? That movie came out a month ago. Oh, Tell me. Yeah, he yeah, ain't movie. gonna fucking oh, glass. In the, movie, in the first half of the movie. Because oh, you know, glass. obviously, you see, you know, Samuel L. Jackson's character talking because he's supposed to be portrayed as like the main character or whatever. Yeah. In the first hour of the movie, he doesn't talk. Yeah, he but you know, talk. something's gonna happen though. You just don't know when. Yeah, that was annoying. Like, they played him like he was. Like two hours and a half? And a whole. First hour, he don't talk. Yeah. yeah, bro. The, the whole first, first hour, all you see him do is the whole first act of the movie, nigga. Yeah, niggas, niggas like his down. The what? Was I heard that movie was trash. Oh yeah, the ending was bad. That ending was horrible. But all right, all right, fellers, let's move on. Here you go. Do you want to do the comics corner? Do y'all think it's whack that they invited Mac Miller parents to the Grammys and he didn't win? Yes. Yeah. I think that's whack. Yeah. And they gave his fucking nasty ass ex one. Her fucking she won for that fucking bullshit album she made about him. All right. Jeez. Thank you. Wait, he get like a tribute? No. Nah, they all they do is they have that shit. They show like pictures so of all the niggas nine. who died, but it's like a second. Oh. Yeah, but that's it. like when they had oh my bad they had X Mom at the fucking BET Awards and Vic Mesa did that freestyle. I didn't know that was, was gonna happen. happen. You know. I mean, I feel like they should have known. They should have like replayed. Like, ask that nigga what he's going. Like, hey, you gonna shit on this nigga? Okay. But like, they don't know if he gonna no. shit on somebody. But they could have asked him. But they don't know what somebody finna rap about. Yeah, I mean, that but I was just, I'll let. Good. Yeah, but I don't know. I just started on Twitter. I don't really care for the Grammys, but whatever. But, oh yeah, the Grammys. But you said cut Drake. Yeah, off I want to talk about the, the Grammys. Uh, he was talking about like, Drake off. The like after because he said like. He's basically like shitting on the Grammys. He's like, y'all don't need this. Like, yeah. and then like, what I guess the this? producers. Yeah. It was today. It was like his speech hey. after he won. He won Song of the Year. Fire. 
<laughs> rap song of the year. Yeah, they gonna sold out. It's well, they drop in April. Bro, listen, it just you know, they just said it dropped. I think they must did a sequel. Yeah. They ain't gonna pop another one. Hey, where y'all going next? Sold out. Niggas, uh, I want to talk about the Grammy the nominations, but I'm pretty sure no one has that pulled up yet. Yeah, then Cardi won Best Album of the Year hey, for last year, right? Cardi won Cardi- rap, oh, rap Album of the Year. Yeah. Bro, how? Nigga, that's not as bad as fucking Charles Gambino, This Is America, winning Song of the Year. It was the, first, it was the first hip-hop song to win it, though. That's, that's good, but it should have been a better song, I think. What song was nominated? I don't know, but it should have been... Reborn off of Kids He Goes. The nominated songs it, were all no, the stars. No, I said it should have been. All the stars, trash. The joke. Trash. Boot up. Trash. In my blood. Trash. The middle. No, nah, boot up. All right. No, nah, boot up. Boot up no, if boot up, boot up won another award. He's yeah, talking about for song of the year. Guys playing. Trash. Trash. All right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Drake said, you don't need this right here. You already won. His, mic- his microphone didn't cut off in the uh, arena. Uh, telecast. Yeah, he, he was, he was like was already. Like, he's our, he said. Uh, telling. Our, he said after winning a Grammy for best uh, rap song, Drake delivered an impassionate speech, telling artists that they have already won. If you have, if you have people singing your songs word for word, if you're a hero in your hometown, you don't need the right. You don't need this right here. You already won. His microphone was cut off. Yeah, he was saying he, he was like, you have people who like yeah, they work love like right. nine to five jobs and stuff, and yeah. then they spend their hard earned money to buy tickets to you. Right, like you've already won. Like you don't need a Grammy, basically. And then them niggas cut them off. They say, "Psych." Bro, no. I bet when they ask, wait, so do well, y'all think that's what he's saying is right? I mean, yeah, yeah basically, you are, you like have you money. You don't need a Grammy to like. Yeah, the Grammys been ruined since they started letting niggas. Vote. A Grammy, I feel like it's just a title, an right. like, empty title. Right. Like that. Ever since they started letting niggas vote, Grammys. Hey, hey, cut it off, cut it off. What you mean by letting niggas? niggas in the back, All right, bro. After the shit with uh, Mac Miller, yeah. I mean, not Mac Miller, Macklemore, yeah. went in the best rap album Grammy over Kendrick did, the Grammy was like, all right, we're going to try. They started bringing a lot more minority voters. And every Grammy since then has been trash. Still been trash nigga, it was better before, though. Remember, that's when Macklemore was, no was like, oh, nigga, was yeah, but because the, the whites know more about rap than y'all. Tell them, Shaq. Posty. Nigga, you white. Wait, Posty, hey Posty, the goat Wait, though. Isn't that know. who uh, comprises hip hop heads the most? Yeah, but uh, hold on. It's why, like, Wait, actually, I actually have a question. Why when Post Malone won his award, he didn't say nothing about Twenty One Savage? Did he have to? Because he's they the one who said the number one song together. Wait, he, Post Malone's the one who snitched. How about Six Nine? Hey, that, hey what, <laughs> if Post Malone, bro, what if Post Malone's from England? I just explain why his teeth were so yellow. Oh, and why he's so dirty. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, England's are dirty, bro. Hey, hold up. Bro, I mean, whoa, whoa. We taught them how they Africans taught them niggas. Oh, yeah, though. England's like the Dallas area, bro. England, England, everybody England, England will take a sponsorship. Yeah, their teeth? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to bring it, like, on the Grammy thing. It's like Drake basically just really, he really just basically tells, like, people, like, you don't, you don't need to seek validation for the Grammys or anything. But I feel like a Grammy is just like getting an All Star, like in the NBA, because once you get that, like your name goes, you, you get more money in All Stars. Yeah. And play, let's say if I win an Oscar and I'm trying to get like a a, a role, and it'd be like Oscar award winning, Grammy award winning. That's it holds more high in society just because, like back then, how it was held for the highest musicians, and so that's why we have our awards, but it's not held like that because we don't treat it like that. If if a lot of people went to the BET Awards, showed up, and treated it like it's the Grammys for us, then it'll mean more. But they, Grammys is held at a high standard. So. And music is just so opinionated. That yeah. Like, mm-hmm. If a country song wins number one, like, anybody yeah. who don't like country is obviously not. They ain't going to like it. Yeah. But, I mean, they do make up a big part of, like, niggas to listen to music. Yeah. That's yeah, why that's I... Saying, but it's like, like if, if you don't listen to the world, that, yeah, if you don't listen to country, you're like, bro, the Grammys is crap. Yeah, that's, if you listen to country, you're like, oh... Okay, the Grammys. Yeah, but you know, I mean, country got the country music award, so. If it's a yeah. song, if it's like a song that I don't like, but I know a lot of people like, I'd be like, all right, them niggas got it because he was more popular. Like when uh Bruno Mars won last year, I didn't want him to win, but I understood why because that shit was like super popular. Yeah, I understand why. It was yeah. straight yeah. too. Yeah. Well, he won, understand why Mac he won. won uh, he won best like album of the year, like the whole thing. And niggas was mad because they said that he was Filipino and he stole black music. No, but he paid homage. No, I'm saying, I agree with you. Yeah, I know. Niggas was mad. 
Yeah, I understand that. But I feel like I understand why Bruno won. I like that Bruno won. I understand why Cardio won. I understand why Macklemore won. I feel like if Kendrick was in, to, he won. Like when he won best. But our, but you could tell why he'll win that is because he had the hottest song that year. Picture if Kendrick was in. Picture if it was like uh, Macklemore shit versus like Damn. Damn would win. It was bigger hits. I mean, I ain't saying it was bigger than Thrift Shop, but like at the time, Kendrick was bigger. So I feel like. It's really about popularity. Like, it's a popularity contest. Yeah, it's just whatever, like, the most popular song right. basically is... You're gonna win, bro. Yeah. That's why I don't know why they don't call it the Pop Awards, even though they got Billboard Awards. It's just Wait, like, did, we, did we also say that, like, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and Charles Gabino, like, they denied the request of performing there to perform at the Grammys? Oh, they, didn't, they denied them? I think yeah. Drake said no because he wasn't gonna win. He, Same with... Uh, that's why I think that... What did Drake win? He won uh, best, best Rap Song of the Year. Oh, yeah. But no, I feel uh, like... He did win that? Or he he did win that. Bro. That's what he gave the speech for, yeah. No, but I feel like, because, you know, uh, I should go with Tevin's buddy. Joe Budden said that niggas won't usually perform at the Grammys unless they're promised, like, some big award or something. Right, like, right. He said most award shows is like that. So I feel like if Drake said no, that means he didn't win album of the year. Right. But he still showed up. So, right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Childish Gambino, did he drop album this year? No, no. Oh, then I, and then him and Kendrick probably said no because, you know, they, like, pro-black and whatever. I also put on there, is the Grammys over? Like, are they dead? Like, do we... Re- Back then, we used to be like, oh, he won a Grammy. Now it's like, oh, he got a Grammy. I got a question for you. Okay. Hey, Kane, why didn't Chrono Trigger get nominated for a Grammy? Because of these goddamn cracks. <laughs> 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 no, I feel like the Grammys, I don't think it's over. It's just viewership going to drop for a lot of things in the future because like not many people watch tv like that and it's like you have we got so much canceling culture going on so people like yeah people do you can you can do it on cbs you can stream it so yeah yeah, but i feel like people watch stuff more like on twitter now like on facebook like they see what's going on so i feel like that's why but that's why travis scott performed he performed if i'm not mistaken yeah but I, I feel like that's he performed because he probably felt like he was gonna get something. Yeah, but I don't know. Also, uh, I don't like him, but shout out to Beyonce because she's getting closer to the most Grammys by a female artist. She got twenty three. Who has the most? Uh, I think it's like Barbara Streisand or some shit. She's the highest selling artist of all time and a oh. Jew. Future got his first Grammy. Oh, Future, yeah, Future and Young Thug, and Young Thug both got Grammys. That's the highest woman. Barbara Streisand. Yeah, she's the highest selling woman. Oh, Bob, I thought they said the oh, highest selling artist. Was. I'm like, yo, no way. Bro, no. did y'all see Young Thug's performance though? No, no. he did Havana, didn't he? Yeah. What song? The boots my man had on. Hey. Were the drippiest things bro, I've ever Future seen. Was clean, bro, Future was Grammy. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Future, that nigga was clean. Bro, Thug he walked was, out. They had the camera like on his boots. That shit was. He was dripping, bro. Made hey, me do dang. some tier five stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my bad, bro. Hey, Let me take uh, this off. Tier tab- four. It's it's teetering high. now. What'd you say? Is Kanye a prophet? Because a few years ago he said we need Young Thug at the Grammys, not me and Jay. Him and Jay weren't there, but Young Thug was. Mm. Kanye Mike was right, man. I mean, he's always on stage. Yeah, but I feel like I never. You no, know, I, I don't what care. Was the last I didn't watch really it. Who Kanye? A lot of times. Hey, I just, I'm, no, I'm trying to say, like. What, tell you? All right. For real, you nigga. You really, I can't remember, like, off top. Everybody all right. Wrong, bro. I win. Let's move you on. don't win. He was wrong about the win. Bro, all right. Uh, what's next? Uh, Currency and Wiz dropped a mixtape called 2009. Uh, Kane's heard. a big Wiz fan, so. I am not a big Wiz fan, so don't say that. That's Wait, who's a big Wiz? Oh. Wiz, I mean, Shaq, did you hear it? What? Currency and Wiz's mixtape, 2009. They dropped a new mixtape. They just dropped it? It yeah. was like earlier. This I didn't hear it, nah. It dropped, SoundCloud uh, notified me, and I'm like, let me go see if it's on streaming services, and it was. Don't you like currency? I don't really listen, bro. No, I do not. I'll be honest, bro. I don't really like currency like that. Hey, he fucking watched Freddy up and down on Stop Facebook. that. Stop <laughs> lying. Stop it. It's fact, bro. Stop it. I'm not going to listen to Stop it. it. Yeah, it's no use listening. I mean, I'm not going to hear that shit either, but. I don't Is that duo that. played out? Yeah. I want to say anything like it's played out, just nobody really just. You, you got servers? people that's gonna listen to it. You got people not. We're not gonna yeah. listen to it. We not. We not into that. Well, everything Elk. that's played out isn't necessarily played out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like but, but I'm just saying I, I'm not. In the Shut show. up. I've been done with him since Pinata. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just. Saying, I'm just not gonna say. I'm just not in a position to say something played out when I don't condone in it. That's all I'm saying. I never really say that. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not with it. But 
But you said earlier that Ludacris is played out. No, I said Ludacris. <laughs> I said, but no, nah, Ludacris is played out. Oh, but that's a, that's an overall consensus of Ludacris being played out. What the fuck are you talking about with Ludacris? Like I'm just I was, saying, I was messing with him earlier. But I said, now nah, Ludacris is not relevant into music. Like, I mean, what does Ludacris do now? He's just he he's in Fast and Furious movies. That's it. He's not known for acting. He's known for Fast and Furious. But that, that, that gets a stream. Nah, he, yeah, he no, he got money, so he got his own stream for him. Stream his music, make him still seem popular. Boy, yeah, that's oh, all I it mean, is. While we here, look, I forgot to shout out Russell Wilson. Oh yeah, he bought all uh he bought all of what's it called Ciara Publishing, so she could start her own record label. Ain't nobody gonna. Oh yeah, did you see what nigga said? Some nigga was like, no, not that. Somebody said. Why he don't buy Future Publishing too? And some nigga was like, "Bro, you know CR Publishing was part like the cost of a Honda." I know it was <laughs> facts. No offense, but facts. Also, she got ugly feet. But anyway, she do got like, she got a couple hits on her though. So you know, probably yeah, but beat the boy. Beat the boy. Mm. He wrote. He wrote good. Wait, is, <laughs> is, is Future on the what tier is he on for writing body Cardi? Nah, is that her biggest hit though? Yeah. He might be like on a. It depends. I, was I'm he? Was he like? Did he have to like? Get in the mode so he touched his homies. Like, okay, this is how I feel if I want to touch him. I feel like you're imagining that, that you're yeah. on tier two. Damn, <laughs> he might be on tier four though. All right, good to know. And then I can't feel it till I taste it. Oh, that, hey, that's, 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 yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. No, no, no. <laughs> he's teetering. He's yeah, he teetering. Yeah, yeah, he no, is teetering. That song game. is hard though. Wait, he's he's like, I have a question. He said it. He's playing it. All right, Shaq. He said, "I don't feel alive till I taste it." No, on a song called ad-lib, on a so hold on on a song called "Coming Out Strong." Hold on, hold on, but gay. <laughs> Listen, bro. The nigga said he was talking about. I, I don't know if it was nigga, Zan or some shit. Bro, Kodak called his nigga and he told that Kodak what he was talking about. You yeah, seen that? Yeah. Like, like, come hey, on, bro. Right hey, future the ghost, nigga. Stop. Nigga, I'm, I was giving him props early. Nah, you took right, all right, Kane. Nah, bro. Let's, let's do a. Let's do a little. That, what was that? What's the future song? Though? Wait, hold on, bro. Let's play. No, what's the future song? Called? Wait, which future? Coming out, coming out strong. No, okay. that you said that he wrote for Sierra. Oh, body party. One was party. by Mike Will producer, right? That's body the party. Song, bro. Oh, well, nigga, that's what's like the, the song, song most people know from her. Of course. Hey, that's on track. Body party is heat. No offense. Hey, body party. You want to talk? Say he want to know something else? Hey, the remix. We're future trash. I'm trying to let's play a little game, fellas. Okay, body let's go party. around. Say your favorite. Yeah, say your favorite uh, sus lyric, and Kane will tell you what tier falls into. All right, Kane. Let's start with cannabis. He said, "You might not. I might not got. Wait, you might got the skills to make more cash than me, but you ain't got the skills to eat a nigga ass like me." Mmm. Tier four. That's tier four. Not tier four. No, mine is the Migos one. What do you say? Eat 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 a Negro's butt like an almond joy. Eat ass like an almond joy. My Negro, my Negro, my Negro. Who said that? I don't know which one. It was Quavo. It was definitely Quavo. It was a hundred percent. Come on, it was hard at the time though. No, it wasn't. Before tears. Before tears. Before tears were a thing. It was hard. What does that make Kane, bro? He's in tier four at least. Oh my god. He co-signed the eating ass line and that. Anyway, no, my Biggie, you look so good. I suck on your daddy's dick. That's nothing, oh, nothing. That's your five. That's your five. No, no, no. It's okay. Richard Pryor said yeah, I do right. not care. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Richard Pryor said that, but it's still gay. He you know, wrapped Richard, it. Hey, you know what? Richard Pryor was gay. He sucked he dick. He sucked dick. What? He was a freaking bisexual. Bro, he like. let Marlon Brando beat it up. Huh? Oh, bro, that shit is fucking. That's why. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, I looked up like a list. Big Pun said. When you awaken, your manhood will be taken. <laughs> what? Mm, what about being next? Wait, what's that? Hold on. Hold on. All right. Hold wait, on. wait. What about when uh, Fabulous said, I don't know if this is the exact line, but get ready, bro. He said, she fuck, she, no, no. she fuck like a male, she fuck like a, sh- wait, bro, look at that. What he said? No, look, look, he bro, said she, look, 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 look. Beanie Siegel. I'll blow a nigga for a box of huggies. <laughs> Why do you want huggy? You, you're blowing somebody for free. You're blowing somebody for. Free. But what about baby? Should have played linebacker. I want that sack. Yes. Hey, Ludacris. What? A big cock and bank. Okay. I was saying earlier. He's still going hard. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need, Tier five. I need. I need. Tier Kane, five. I need Kane's ranking for the. I should have been a linebacker. I'm chasing the sack. All right. Is. 
That's that's your rapper, bro. It depends. Was he touching Gunna when he was saying that? <laughs> was he doing like? I hope not. Gunna is automatically a tier two, by the way, at all times. Yeah. Just, Especially with that album coming. Yeah, yeah, he's automatically. Fifty Cent. Oh, the Hom- homophobic shit. Go through the hood. They're mad niggas on my dick. What about Snoop Dogg? Cause I never had. Ha- hey, hey, I never hesitate to put a nigga on his back. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I found it. I found it. All right, bro, prepare yourself. Who, who is it? Who is Fabulous. It? He said, "I say she fucking like a nigga. That's a she male." That's a tier five. That sounds like experience. That's from experience. Kendrick Lamar. You don't even know a remix. Black hippie remix. I'm about to rape you niggas till you recoup. Yeah. Hold on, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. DMX, motherfucker, I'll rip your butthole out of place. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got some more DMX. Hey, that was that's an that was hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. That was DMX said. I'll nut off and bust in your eyes so you can see me coming. Oh, yeah, I remember that. He said, since you want to talk about me, hold my dick while he's sucking it, motherfucker. Oh, Bro, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. He, went, he went to jail for so long for the tier five violation. <laughs> that was not tax evasion. <laughs> that was breaking. He hit tier six and had to be put in jail. I got another one. He needs to be stopped. Yeah, hey, stopped. IC, 99 problems. I got a bitch who's a man. <laughs> what? <laughs> IC. Yo, hold up, Bun B. Tell me something good. Hey, yo, what's up with that bug? The buggle in your kill khakis. That buggle in your khakis. Like the fuck? Like the bunch? What's up with that bug? No, he's like, what's up with the bug in your khakis? Hey, he called him Honey Bun earlier. No, 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 what about when DMX said, yeah, you right, I know your style, pussy, because I'm fucking it. <laughs> all right, bro, they arrested on that shit. But that's, hey, that's all from the same song, everything I just said. Oh, no, 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 no. All four of them lines, bro. Oh, come on, bro, this shit is the best. This is funny, bro. Hey. Hello. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey. Hey, no. Hey, hey, guys. R. Kelly. Uh, it's called fucking you tonight. B I G, bring that ass to me. <laughs> he was talking. No, he was talking to Biggie on the song. He was like B I G, bring that ass to me, cause they was on the song together. On the- Excuse me. Yes. Hey, Biggie. Biggie got shot because he no, see, no, because look, R Kelly was jealous of Faith Evans and what she was doing to Biggie. That's why. Uh, mm. That's a good. Hold up, M- hold up, Eminem. I've been I've been lying my ass off all this time. Me and Dre been fucking with the hats off. Oh! Hey, what about what Eminem said? What? Bro, what all about, right. What about oh what? What about what Eminem said? I saw them eyes like an ass raper. <laughs> that was from last oh, year. <laughs> Project Pat Gorilla Pimp. Oh my god! Oh damn! I t- I take the sex to the face, loonies. I got I <laughs> hello. I got files on it. If you thinking I'm straight, then you better think twice. Oh, oh shit! What? What that's the fuck? No. Why? Yo. That's a 10. Yo, that's, I'm done. That's full that's dicko that's mode. That's, that's full that's dicko that's mode. Sheesh. That's full that's dicko mode. That's super gay, bro. Nah, that that's come on. Hey. That's everything. That, hey, though. That was a good segment, though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, what you <laughs> say? It's a really good yeah. segment. I said good segment, bro. Hey, wait, wait. What about, what about a gunner? She looking like Thugger just want me some sex. No. Yeah, what's, what's the ranking on? Because it has Thugger in it, and Thugger has never hit a tear. No matter what gay things Thugger says. Even when he was wearing a dress? No, this drip. Even when he used to call Rich Homie Quan babe and was touching him on the shoulder? Sauce. Even when he no. said, even when he said, I ain't gonna hit it, but I'm gonna still make sure that she good because my homie's about to. <laughs> hey, hey, Both. yo. Yeah, boy, OJ Juice Man. OJ Juice Man, he a flamer. <laughs> what about, I will not give what, no. Thugger any tears. Bro, you will about, not convince what me. What about when There's Gunna no posted that picture on Instagram and he said, I'm addicted to sex, and Young Thug commented, he said, addicted to me. That's his homeboy. He is supporting, he is supporting, 
his buddy, man. No, no tears. Yeah, to but buddy, man. Hey, Rick Ross, suspect lyric. Oh, it could go God. any ways, rapey or not. Look Bucky. you, de- look you dead in the face. Now tell me how it tastes. How's that gay, dude? I never said You're it was gay. gay. I never said it was gay. gay. The way you he said it was gay. That's tear joke. At yeah. least. Yeah. At the very least. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least. All right, bro, we're done with this. I know. <laughs> bro, <laughs> we got to move on. It's just some funny shit, bro. I swear, bro. It's kind of pod. Man, you never said who he's looking in the face. He's looking in the face. Hey, I, I, I already Excuse me, then. Wait, uh, what's the... All right, you, I know you said you can't give Young Thug any tears. No homo, but my blood look like a dick. Oh, yeah, what about no homo we smoking penises? No homo was said, so. <laughs> what about when his homie posted that picture on Twitter? And he... Cam was saying suspect shit, no homo, though. Bro, what about when Young Thug homie put a picture on Twitter, that nigga said, damn, you sexy, cuz. He was looking good. Oh, 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 and what tear did he get? All right. Oh, All right, bro, you, you, you shut down, bro. Oh, speaking, of, speaking of sus niggas. Y'all saw that garbage ass album cover for Dripper Drown 2. Expectations? Three three bangers on that hoe. Everything else is gonna be some mid. But there's gonna be three songs that are straight heat. Well, I mean, yeah, one of well, the thug feature, the, the baby, baby feature. feature? And the thug and baby feature. Right, that's what I'm saying. I already know the song with Gunna. He got Uzi on? Nah, 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 I don't think so. Migo said they Migo said they got some with Uzi coming. But I have a question for Shaq. Can Uzi say wait, can Uzi wait, wait, can they say who? Amigo song? Nah, because the one he was on, he didn't have the best verse. We just laughed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My shit's back to the bone. He had the best verse on that. Verse. No, he didn't. Stop. Yeah, that verse Stop. Oh, yeah, no, it's not. I used to like him. Right. All right. All right. Wait, Thank Shaq. You, Shaq. So after we saw the Gunna um, Drip or Drown 2 cover, was he dripping or was he drowning? Hey, him drown. Yeah, he was definitely <laughs> drowning. Yeah, like you're in the water, you're not. Yeah, dripping. he's definitely you out the water. What, dripping in water? Come on, what about that VL uh, umbrella? Come on, bro. Like no, he's bucket. What about that thousand dollar surfboard he got for sale? Force. I asked somebody like buy it for me. And I do not no. support black businesses. <laughs> because of that. Yeah, because yeah, of that. Now that nigga look like you know, I don't know, bro. That hey, nigga had the hump. Swimming in the ocean, and you see some kid drowning, but he has like a dripper drown surfboard. Are you gonna let him drown? I might yes. have to let him drown, bro. He has to choose. Drip or drown. What happened? Your neighbor just not fucking with your voice. Are they mad at us? Are we too loud? Knock back. Knock back. Don't do that. What? Why not? We might fall through, dog. Oh, oh yeah, this shit. Remember what happened to the ridge last time? Wait, that was here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a few apartments down. It's by, it's by our building. There's like a building down there. They better get used to this. The fuck up. Bro, we definitely, been, been, down for we definitely been louder. We've been way louder. But you know, probably people in school on Sunday. Wait, so oh, you know. Oh yeah, school on Sunday. Oh my god, that's garbage. Sorry, Ew, school education. But uh, I think Drip and Drown Two is gonna be mid straight. Yeah, I like uh, what's it called? Drip Season Three was good. But uh, I, yeah, I, I'll give it like a. I say I'm like seven for, out of ten excited. Every gunna pro- every gunna project that he has is like, you got like three heat songs and everything else is like you listen to it, but it's nothing you're gonna like. Keep coming back to her nothing. Yeah, like, is there gonna be anything on place. Drip or Drown Two as good as Pedestrian? No. Uh, he, he might have. Y'all yeah, don't like all oh, of Pedestrian is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's oh, good okay, too. Cool, but pedestrian pedestrian is, is my favorite song. Why they take it off? It's on Apple Music. A spending addiction, good too. I like I like Mystery. Almighty until Hood Rich Pablo gets Mystery on it. Hard too. Cause he ruins the whole vibe to me. Yeah. yeah. Wait, who? Hood Rich Pablo. No, 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 no. I hate it. On his own projects, he's hard. Is it going to be better than Street Gossip? No. no. I think it's going to be harder than Street Gossip or harder than ever. Oh, yeah. I changed my mind, bro. I think harder than hard is better than harder than ever. Harder than hard? And See, I got to listen to him. ATL, 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 We got that from Rich Homie, too. Yeah. But what's up to Atlanta and the hard ass pasta bread? Industry plants. We talked about Bruno Mars earlier and how like uh he got all them awards and some people no some people did though. But he's been around for ten years. Has he? Yeah, this nigga was popping when I was in eighth grade. Oh, that beautiful girl song. But a lot of people think he's an industry plant. G Easy is definitely an industry plant. I just want y'all to know. Bro, his name's Gerald. I know. 
Because right. <laughs> there's been no artist that said, like, hey, we should get G-Eazy on but this. He's always on shit. He's always on and shit, that though. that garbage-ass song with Britney Spears was, like, top ten when it Yeah. Started. And so, it makes me a little suspicious. I, mean, I know nothing right. about that guy. Suspicious. But what about that song you guys with Blueface and YG? That's coming out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is Blueface in the industry playing? Yes. yes. Right. By Twitter. Just like how Bird Box is. All right, it's time to get disrespectful in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, about to, I'm, about, to I'm about, about to get disrespectful. I wouldn't be surprised if the niggas who made, uh, what's it called, 6 9 and the Famous is behind him. Because they got a label, and they label whole thing is like using like antics to get them hot. What's the label? I don't know. What's the dude? The dude who's uh, 6 9 is the one we're talking about. He's running, it's him and some other dude. Oh uh, no! Wait, it's the dude who got a little pump finger. My bad. Black Side Nigga was on my side. You know? Black, Black Side killed that nigga. Black Side tried to kill six nine. Nigga with a shot. This Trey Way nigga. With a shot. I ain't snitching on nobody. <laughs> nigga ever. Big. Nothing. What? I, I had something to say, bro. I decided to hold it back. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, Tevin, I know you're pretty smart. Who you think in the industry playing? Nobody. Cardi B. No, I just think people end up just working hard, bro. Yo, this nigga definitely played with KO. <laughs> I want to know uh, back then how some artists just got a deal and like had no mixtape that we could find or anything like that. Oh, you mean like Chance? If you no, had, he had two mixtapes. He had he had ten days and he had acid rap. Yeah, but if you got some both, networking, ten days were those were like studio produced mixtapes. He had fucking Childish Gambino on ten days. I know he did. He had some big people. Nobody he had Charles get beat on one. Yeah, that's nobody that's big on ten, on 10 Days. I listened to 10 Days when I was in high school. Bro, he did I not come out 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard 10 Days when I was in high school, too. But Charles get beat on was on acid rap, though. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Adam Soul was on acid rap. And uh, Twister. No Gypsy was on acid rap. But Twister, Chance, Chance you know, he's from on, Chicago. So. Chance of Rap was on royalty. Oh, yeah. That's was. what I was thinking of, too. He put him... Uh, uh, Charles and Reno took him on tour. Yeah, they were uh, not. They weren't signed to the same label, but the produ- the publishing niggas for Chance, that's Charles Gambino's label. I'm pretty sure. The glass note, the music. No, no, no. Uh, what's it called? Uh, no, I'm saying like the big ones. Like it's the same one that Kanye got. Simon Atlantic and Schuster, or something like that. I don't know, but anyway, uh, I don't know. I I used to think Chance was an industry player, but I don't even think so anymore because he seemed like he fell off. I didn't get the whole. Big jump from acid rap to to coloring book. I mean, acid rap is a pretty big jump. I mean, a lot of people day. like acid rap. Yeah. So like, acid rap, rap is yeah. a classic mixtape. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people and I like, don't like that nigga music. I mean, Kane has the vinyl. I don't even. Himself. What anyway. is what is an industry plan? Seems like a nigga who has some connections when they come in and they just blow up like. Russ, like, uh, Russ, Simmons. like he, I think his dad, like, like Russ, bro, I think his dad owns the record label. No, his dad's his broke dad's as shit. Rich, though, no, it's not. His dad's broke as fuck. His dad yeah. asking for money. His dad lost all his money. Oh, I don't know. I th- I saw something about his dad. Like, he either had a friend who owned a record label or he owned a record. Label. I think that might have been like his first. Yeah. Here's, oh, some, I seen that here's a list of rappers from Genius, but they said that these people are. This is official list of industry plants. Boy, it's Genius though. But no, nah, but I'm just I'm just going. Genius is a bunch of Jews, bro. I'm gonna run this list by y'all. Rory. Rory? Talking oh. about the dude from Atlanta. Yeah, Rory. niggas used to say he was a failed plant because his first album came out. Niggas was like, what the fuck was that? I don't think he was an industry plant. Bryson Tiller? I don't think. No, no. I remember yeah, his I come up, bro. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Bryson Tiller. Yeah, I don't think Bryson Tiller. Don't was a slow burn. Yeah, bro. don't. It was like booed up to me. Yeah, bro. Don't is like a badly mixed song. So if he's yeah. a fucking studio plant or whatever, they should at least help that nigga out. LMA? Industry plants. Shut up. That bitch is out. That bitch is ugly. <laughs> on my woman. That's why she won a Grammy tonight. See, you know Best R&B song. Who? Future Goat. Get her out of here. Wow. Nigga, you like LMA. Hey, LMA is better than Cardi. All right, bro. Nah, you are nah, you buddy. tripping, nigga. Yeah, Cardi's, Cardi's way better. Trash, nigga. Right. Bro, Cardi, Cardi, Cardi got, got a shit, nigga. Cardi got a few slappers, mm. bro. Nigga. Cardi don't even write her shit. Mm. Nigga, who, 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 what female does. rapper who's good besides Rhapsody writes their own shit? Get the, I said good and writes their own shit, bro. You lied two times. Oh, that nigga like Barbie. 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 You're right, because she don't write anything, because all she has to do is freestyle from the dome. It's already fire. Yeah. Right. No, somebody need to put something in her dome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody needs to put something in Cardi dome, bro. Yeah, my mouth. Ew, <laughs> what? That don't make no sense. I'm going to lick her forehead. That's what I'm saying. That that doesn't make any that's <laughs> so doesn't doesn't make sense. A, can you just get a tear for a reason? <laughs> bro, that's a woman. Nah. All right, I'll bite her nose off, nigga. The third one, Travis Scott. No. I remember his coming out. Yeah, no. 
Like, I heard of him when I was in, like, it was 2014. But a, lot people, he a lot of people have come ups, but they still was labeled my industry, hey, but just the way they grew Kevin, up. Since you've been a fan of Travis for a while, you think that story is true? About what? The one about him having that manager that he was, like, having seizures and Travis, like, left him on the ground or whatever? Oh, I believe it. Travis just seemed like that type of guy. What about the shit at the movie theater? Which one? Remember they said he like raped a girl in a movie theater in high school? Travis Scott, he seemed like he probably had done that. Damn, nigga. <laughs> I should listen to this nah, man's music. Nah, real talk. <laughs> I believe the Nah, but nah, when I first when I first watched this interview, he just, like, when I was like, you know, I was following Chan, I mean, Travis for a while, I wanted him to be like, you know, I like, I was just saying, but he gave me that demeanor like he wouldn't care about people. Like, you think he'll rape a bitch? Yeah, nigga, that's I'm like not saying I don't, I don't say I don't think he the will, thing, but I'm saying I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, didn't they said in high school? Yeah, I, I want. Yeah, in high I, I don't put it past. Girls in high school, bro. I don't put it. I don't, bro. Nah, nah, nah. But <laughs> nah, real talk though, I don't get to put it past nobody because we'll always be like, oh, he never seemed like that person. Yeah, he don't seem like that though. Man, we don't know what people do, bro. Like, yeah. like real what talk. Hey, yeah. What about Diggy Simmons, bro? He is a cool soul. Hey. 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 All right. I don't know. You just <laughs> never. I don't know. I know. I had. I had moments that I thought about. Not like raping a girl, but just like you would do something. See, now that feels podcast, bad. Bro, when the, when the podcast blow up one day, niggas gonna clip the shit out of that. Yeah, but I'm not. I never said. Nope, it didn't go like that. I never said I thought about it. I'm saying you have thoughts of like different things, but you would never act on them. But you like hell. No. Well, I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I'm like, okay, damn. I want to. Yeah, yeah. Like, I want to punch this nigga in the head. Like, I want to. What happened to you? Yeah. Like, yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> what position were you and your dog in? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, people have. Y'all niggas choking, dog. Yeah, you like, damn. I mean, bro, Royal fucking choking. What happened if I ran up and blasted this man? Yeah. Like, what would happen? What would happen? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Move. I guess everybody, Wait, who else yeah, everybody had those thoughts. Troy Ave and Post Malone. Post Malone? Yes. No, no, no. I remember Post Malone's sound call come up, but hey. Post Malone said he posted he posted White Iverson one night and it just blew up the next day. He told me. I was reading that I was watching that documentary and it was just yeah, all noisy. You was watching a post Post Malone documentary? It was noisy. Yeah, you're you're a postie, bro. Because I was like, oh, he's from Dallas. You're a postie, bro. I look he don't I don't really believe in industry plant shit. I don't White I Iverson? think it's just like a conspiracy yeah. theory. Okay, Iggy Azalea and Logic. I remember Logic. Iggy Azalea, I think she is. Nah, Iggy, bro, I remember her blow up, bro. When she made a... Uh... Pussy? No, not Pussy. Yeah, that was what? when they, they, they planned with her and she squirted. That song, uh, Pussy, that's the first song I heard from her. I forgot. Boy, better not be fancy, nigga. But you got a hole in No, these. definitely not fancy. Everybody got a hole in these. If you don't got a hole in these, you, you don't wear them. Hey, that's why, I, that's why I throw away, like, have my work pants. <laughs> these my work if you don't got a hole in these and you work, you're out of there. What about you, Shaq? Do you got a hole in your head either? Yeah. I think got nest stains on the mother everything. My nigga be working, working. Damn, nigga, what was you doing? Yo, you getting excited. excited. My nigga be working, hey, working. Bro, I can't contain myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making with Javante, boy? Hey, 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 He always when? Why? He, they let him do that? At work? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Wait, like, a white beater with no shirt. He was, wearing, he was wearing like a white beater. I was like, you're about to get the Well, he, he wears that like, wait, because he be throwing a shirt. Yeah, he was, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? He was like, nigga, what? I make you uncomfortable with my body? And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what tier is that? For me or him? Him. Uh, but he's a tier he's, one. Javante, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a cool nigga. He's on my list. <laughs> I, I was just funny. I was like, what, what the fuck? Hey, man. We need to have Javante on here with the tears. Oh, yeah, we do, bro. Yeah, Javante has to. Javante, if you're listening, you're getting on this podcast before you leave. Yeah, that boy said he's going to off to the army, bro. Oh, he did? He said he is. Yeah, and, like, he's going to do computers yeah, and stuff. Like. Huh? Oh, shit. Juice World album. Yeah. Who cares? I'm asking. Hey, that shit going to be lit. I finished. I, I don't like Juice World. Yeah, I finally seen the goodbye. Don't no, rent it. I don't like Juice World. Yeah. I think it's a good a good debut project for him. He could be considered a, a, a industry plant. I would say debut project. I saw him come up. I'm about to say you saw us come up. You told me, bro, listen to this person. Nigga, don't feel like it. Is, Next year, later. Industry. He finds the like well, young mm, artists mm. with no book. He sends them to like noisy or like. Atlanta no, no, no. Think about it like this. He already said that he gets your favorite rapper's songs before they do. Mm, does he mm. create them? Is he the wave maker? 
Is he the curator? How y'all think it's I got funny, that sir. ATLP 120 over there, Maybe man? That shit cost $40. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do it look like it cost? No. Yeah. You peasant. I'm not touching your hand. Atlantic sent me that. <laughs> hey, they said, hey, hey, you play all the newest artists on there and tell us what you think about them. We'll send you the demos. They say you're responsible for half the people at the Grammys. Here nah, hey, wait. Hello. Is, hello. Wait, are you the reason why Uzi hasn't dropped? No. Let's think of this, bro. Yeah, Let's say. Hey, hey, he said it wasn't going to drop this year. Uh, let me talk to you guys. <laughs> hey, what if, what if, all right, what if, um, art, like, people that own a record label and they, they have, like, writers and they have, um, people with, like, ideas for artists or, like, what type of artists they want. And let's say they, they grab somebody that looks like that artist that they want and they feed them things. Like, I want you to get this tattoo, blah, blah, blah. You color your hair this color. You got this song. That's you do it this way. I so know, basically, it's like create a rapper type thing? Like create a rapper. Yeah, like but I'm like, we don't have nobody like that. Like, I'm, th- I'm saying like... It's just people th- say there's people like yeah. that. You, you can't really prove that. You really like can't. That. But I'm just saying what y- y'all think. Because like 6 9 with all that shit on his face, like, was he really... Just, did he really just wake up one day? And he was always a weird... Na- I used to see him on Tumblr. And I didn't know that was 6 9 yeah. I just... He used to have that... There's some rappers on here. I'm like, yeah... Because Tory Lanez is on here. Tory, Tory Lanez I watched Tory, I watched Tory he was come up crazy. Kirko Bangs. He yeah. has so many mixtapes. They got Kirko K- Bangs on there? Yes. For industry plant? Yeah, they bugging. Yeah. My cousin with the they North They got Russell on there too and Black. Yeah. No, no, no. It was an industry plant. Black Russ, went through some shit. That nigga was eating burgers Russ out of the trash can, plant. bro. Russ, no, no. Russ was working, though. That nigga complained about doing everything himself. Not He's like, that's why I can be cocky. Because I did everything myself. I got big on my own. I didn't need no, uh, what did hey, you say? I didn't need all no the box. You know, he was on the biggest L's, uh, he's number one on the biggest L's list. Of that's how I, hard nigga, he made a shitload of money, though. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Bro, everybody says he. he it's because everybody, uh, everybody on Twitter be Wait, Wait, like, not you even have the LP right there? Totally There's really a wolf? Oh, my God. Ah! Bro, hey, Tevin, if you're the nigga who's responsible for Russ, I'll kill you. I promise. <laughs> Isn't that what they want? Isn't that his song? What they want, what they want. What See? They want. Yo, why do you know that? What in the... I'm like, yo, chill. But now he do got some cool little um, melodic tricks he got. Like that one song he got when he's singing? Like, uh, Bro, there is so uh, much music out here. You listening to Russ? <laughs> I'm not listening to that. He got he got some cool songs, bro, and I'm not gonna uh, deny that. It's a lot of artists I don't I don't like, but I feel like you know they got some songs I'm like Jeez, you know what I mean. But like one album that slept on at the end of the year is that Bosky Two by Chromethazine, eleven songs of straight fire. Like it's just oh, no, multiple that was bangers. List, like SoundCloud artists or like mm-hmm. underground artists. You, you want to talk about that? Oh, I was just gonna say Taliban Two. That's just nigga hype as fuck. Yeah, yeah. it's just some. Do you actually know? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, I I don't be. A, Triggers yeah, I don't be on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite rapper on SoundCloud. I don't be on SoundCloud as much as I used to, bro. Cause I used to have like mad artists to check out, but I can't give none. Right now, I just have, you know, Comethazine, like fire, bro. Oh, Benjamin Counter. Oh wait, let me give some shout outs. <clears throat> I got Chrono Trigger with that sheesh. Yo, he don't even rap no more. This nigga sitting in the room right now. Ooh, who's Chrono? Chrono. Bro? What is this? Chrono. We don't know what he's doing. Man, no, Chrono Trigger's working on. Ever seen his face. Hey, he got the That's project. He's, he's the Sheesh. underground of the underground. She's uh, 1.5. He's, he's grinding hey, right his now. His new EP coming out, Tier 5, That's coming it. soon. Uh, obsessive <laughs> Sheesh on the way with Ooh. Under the Hood. Ooh. Mm. I th- uh, wait, is that a collab? Yes. With yeah, Tyson. With Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> like, that low key sound like a clothing collaboration. Stalker bars, boys. Hey, look. <laughs> What's about popped up at Bosky 2? Uh, oh, I also have to shout out one of my homies from um, high school. He's rapping, and it seems like you know he has like a team behind him. I guess like a little small team. You know the nigga made that boom bag? Yeah, he, the father of chill. When he was saying something this about is America? bro. Yes, Kevin. but shout out father chill. You doing your thing? Boy, that nigga. <laughs> hey, put another safe transformation. Yeah, one last thing for the dye, music. Dye your beard, bro. Hey, even shout the nigga out. It's the I 15 did. year anniversary. Father Chill. Father Chill. In stores. Nah, he's on SoundCloud. Shut but up, he baby. has a song. He has a song. He has some songs on YouTube and some music videos. Hey, Chase, I ain't ass. I like him. Yeah, he's good. And I'm not friends now, with him. Now, there's another guy from, from that went to school with me. He's making music. And his stuff is like high quality, higher quality, but... I really don't like his music like that. Damn. Hey, hold up, can we? Speaking of higher quality of music, me and Chase had this discussion. Uh, and no, 
Yeah, it's awesome. But like, um, I just want to say, okay, do this has anything to do with technology, guys? Let's say that I rap, right? And you, you know, you can hear my voice back in the day, but then my voice gets deeper or like, or changes. If you think that has anything to do with age or somebody editing your like quality of the um, the uh, the engineer, I guess. It's age, right? Okay. Have you heard old school A Ball MJG? Oh, like super, like the first album. Who is A Ball MJG? It's a southern uh, group from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, they on a uh, what songs are they I on? The, the Stay rap. Fly. Have you heard Stay Fly by Three Six? Only Memphis Stay Fly. Yeah. But I'm saying Basically what I was saying Back then The way they sounded back then Compared to now See I didn't know They were that young When when you said that I'm thinking they're like In 20s or 30s 93 2004 You don't think they're like 19 18 No 20 I don't know how old they are now That's what I'm saying. Not like, all, like, like 20. <laughs> at least 20. That's still young. Your voice ain't gonna get that deep compared from 20 to 30, though. Nigga, uh, Dude, okay. From 20 to 30, nigga, did you not hear Wayne's to... shit from yeah, 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 to... But he's a teenager, though, so I understand that. No, he's 20. No, he was like 24. <laughs> when you start making, like, this deeper voice, oh, bro, I had talking to, about, like, I used to have a low rider. rider got a Vegeta hair on. Let me see. I had the floor rider for a bit, but I had to shave it. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, Pete, you mm-hmm. I, had, I had to cut the hairline off. <laughs> no, I never had. No, what did you say? The voice getting deeper is a change. Uh, 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 no, because I'm saying they sound different back then. But like, in what way though? Please. They just sound different. All right, but like I can tell. Uh, when I when I was watch, when I was listening to A. Well, okay, are you talking about the high like pitches or no, no? But look, I'm saying because I tried to give him earlier. You could tell like they are two completely distinctive people on that second song I gave you. Rather than the first one, right? Yeah. They were more distinctive on that second one. Oh, I don't know about more distinctive. Bro. I don't know about more distinctive. Actually, both of them I could tell. That's the point. That's the point. That's the point. But, but both of them I could tell, like, that yeah, there's different that's just, I don't know why Chase trying to make it like technology. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's either technology that he got on me. I said, okay, or maybe it's age. Yeah, it's it's age. probably a that's little That's why I said. <laughs> but I'm saying technology did get better from back then to now. But, I, but that was my second thing. I was like, oh, maybe it's A. And I yeah, it's probably. I did say that, though. It, probably, I said, or maybe it's A. It's I said, I don't know. Yeah, but, like, you get slightly better quality. I don't, but is. I told him, I told him this. Just because you have better technology don't mean you could engineer good. But, like, no, but that's what I was saying. I was going at that, though. I wasn't saying He's how, like how, how, like how clear it is. And like, like, just everything. Like a better, you got a better microphone now so you can hear. No, yeah, but, I, but no, but a lot of people you still use old mics. I, I I worked in studios. I done. I worked with the soundboards. I know all this shit. Yeah, he, That's why I try to. He worked with the person that produced what? The first, the first, the, three first four what? albums. He can't even get me in those studios. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm in. That, I'm not in that stuff. I'm not in the business anymore. Wow. You know what I mean? I had to leave. He had the connections for everything. <laughs> wow. Oh, sorry, bro. Chrome trigger could have been coming over Chrome trigger too, brother. Nah, bro. We need that. That uh. We need that nigga to stop. Is, Tevin, <laughs> is he really a curator? Because he's trying to not. No, no that's Tevin's make. A more like the tear keeper. I think you're a gatekeeper. A gatekeeper? Gage. Alright, I'm sorry. Mm. Next subject. <laughs> Y'all when is Tyler gonna be on the podcast? That's the subject. Never. <laughs> I had to lie to him tell him whenever he leaves we have this girl one episode for Tyler. Nice. It's a good thing he don't listen to the podcast. Yeah. No, if he had listened to this at this like, point, come on, B. I'm like, no, you can't. You can't. <laughs> come on, neighbor. Come on, you, you hey, can't. Hey, can we talk, on. bro? Neighbor is secretly racist. It is. I tell him, don't call me his neighbor. Call me his name. Like niggas only came up with that shit on white people. No, Brent, 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 Brent started with him. Brent liked two of them. No, I've seen that online though. Dude. I know, but Brent let so him I've say. I've never heard of it until oh. him and Black Chris. Mm. Yeah, I didn't hear of it until yeah. later. But next subject, Billy. Okay, I put something on the podcast earlier because I was thinking this week. We're in the life section. Have, has your girl or your ex ever told you that you were in the wrong during the relationship and you actually were? Like, it was like, oh, you was, like, you know how sometimes we perceive, like, this whole situation, like, oh, dang, my girl was in the wrong, they was wrong. Have you ever been, like, like, oh, you was in the wrong? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 but you were, but you were actually in the wrong. Yeah, plenty of times. Yeah, yeah. I've been wrong, like, a lot, but we're all, like, selfish and we're going to see it all the way. I've been wrong so many times, bro. 
I don't want her to be right. Yeah, I've been wrong a lot when it's in a relationship, and I'll be like, I'll double down, like I'm not wrong, even though I know I'm wrong. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stand my ground, and to a point where I'll be like, damn, all right, I was wrong. Like, but I say that like jokingly, like, like three like, months later. At first, like I'll start noticing I'm wrong, right. and I'm like, nah, I'll work this, yeah, make yeah, it yeah, sound right. Yeah, yeah. I'll make it sound right, and have, then have you ever like three months later after you just all oh, everything is good, you can just laugh about it, like, hey, well, I'll be right. like. I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, like, yeah. I ain't bringing that shit back up. No, I will. Oh, God. I only bring it back up if, if something similar happened and it's funny. No, nigga, I'm right in the story. I, that's the woman. Period. I don't know, I don't but know. a lot of the times, bro, if I, like, if I realize that I'm super wrong, I just fucking, I just be like, never mind. Hey, now that I think about it, wrong? now that I think yeah, about that's it, what I do. Do. I'll be like, hey, let's end this argument. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now that I think about it, I'm kind of wrong. Hey, do y'all have any stories of when y'all was wrong? Do y'all have any situations I, that y'all I, I, that y'all I can share? Yeah, I don't think it's appropriate for the. Uh, Bro, just but, change the names. And no, I don't have no names. I'm talking about the situations. Oh, that's why I'm like. Mm. Yeah, I don't have like a specific conversation, he, like, yeah, but like I had a situation. Yeah, yeah I got a, I got a story. I'll, I'll go with last. Story. I don't, I don't have any situation well, got, like that for me. I got one. Uh, I mean, I don't have that situation. I got one. I got one. The only time, nah, because one time I, I was dating this older girl. She had a baby and all that. And she was trying to go off of me, and I put her in her place. And then realized later that she was like, dang, I was wrong. You were right. I don't know why I ever do that. I'm like, yeah, I know, because I'm always right. But we talking about when you was wrong. I know, exactly. So that's why I said I never had a story like that. All right, I got one when I was coming. All right. This, all right. That's why they call me the dark sage. All right. This one when I was wrong, I found, I was like a senior in high school, and uh, I had an ex-girlfriend. And we was like, uh, we was kind of like becoming like cool. Like we was probably going to be talking again. So I used to hang out at her aunt house because her fr- her uh, cousin was like my close friend. So you know, one night it was a New Year's Eve, we was all hanging out, and uh, this one girl came, and I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> she's pretty hot!" Like she was, I like, "Yeah, she's a nice looking girl, whatever." So and I'm like, I told my homies, I'm like, "Yo, I bet I get this girl to like me." But they like, "Yo, bro, your girl basically is in the in the house. Yeah. Like, how are you able to pull this off?" Hi. <laughs> what? You do you just I was just like, just seeing like, like, yo, all I gotta do is like, I got this hypothesis. Yeah, I, got the like, I, yeah, I was like, all I gotta do is just be clean. I'm just cooling or whatever. So I'm like, all right, I know I'm trying to get you know my ex back, but this other girl kind of looking off. You know, she's looking cool. So my ex was in another room, and this other girl was in a different room. So me, I'm going back and forth, like talking to these girls. Then her cousin told her what I was doing, and then we just got into a whole... I went in the room, she was like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, what? And then we got in a huge argument like a day later and everything, I and I was like... I it seemed like you was right. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I no, 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 no. She's, no, I just never just... I was like, yo, it wasn't wrong. Like, we're not... I'm just basically telling yo, we not together, so uh, I basically uh, can do what I want. Yeah. But she was just like, you're in my aunt's house. Like, you're here at my people's house. Why would you try to talk to another girl while you know... We're trying to get back together type yeah. shit. But I was just like, we're not together, blah, blah, blah. Even though I wanted to get back together with her. And I'm like, yo, I just put myself in a fucked up hole. And at the point, I started messing with the girl. But at the end, I stopped messing with the girl. I just told her, yo, like, I was wrong type shit. Yeah. But other than that, I was Boy. not, I was not, like, telling her I was wrong. I'm like, yo, like, fuck it, bro. Like, I did what I wanted to do. Yeah. I was just thinking with my wing. You know what I mean? Thinking with team. <laughs> like, Ooh. I got another situation, but it's just, it's really off. I can't talk about it. Hey, <laughs> off the podcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mine, mine is from like junior, sophomore year in high school. And it was with my ex ex. And the girl I'm with now, yeah. me and her, we would like, we'd hang <laughs> out like with my friend Cade. Yeah. And we'd like hang out like through him basically. Mm-hmm. And my girl at the time, she was always worried about, like, my girl now. Like, she was like, yeah, she was like, why you, why are you always hanging out with her and stuff? And, like, at the time, I really wasn't, like, trying to do nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> this nigga made a top ten worst the hairlines thread. That shit is nigga ugly. Five. <laughs> but, one bad, time, we'll but one time, uh, we went over to my friend's house, and we was drinking. And, like, I wasn't really doing anything, but she was definitely flirting with me. Right. And, like, nothing really happened, but, like, I ended up falling asleep, like, right next to her, like, while she was flirting, flirting with me the whole night. And, like, through the time, I never, like, like, I was never, like, oh, yeah, I was wrong or anything. Right. But then, like, me and my girl now, like, the girl, like, yeah. I was talking to her about it, 
And I was like, yeah, I never, like, cheated or anything. I did anything, like, sketchy. Right. And then she was like, you definitely did this with me. And right. I was like, Whoa. I was like, now that I think about it, that it was kind of. like, block things. Like, I feel like we do things. You convince but, yourself yeah, that like, it's, it, like. It's not bad. But, like, yeah. we, we do it with hints. Yeah. We do all type of stuff like yeah. that. But we, like, I wasn't no big deal. Yeah. I already know, but girls <laughs> know the shit. Yeah. yeah. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> you, just make, like, you just bro, make you just make a whole Jamie Foxx. He got three like, like, different, bro. He got number six. six. <laughs> Jamie Foxx in 2007. <laughs> you just make a whole Jamie Foxx. Number five thread. is the one y'all see, and then number four is Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that's the that's the <laughs> Steven. <laughs> that's that Stephen B. Smith. He got like fat. <laughs> Stephen B. Smith. <laughs> he got like nine hairlines. I swear to God. Y'all was up with him and Kevin Hart was roasting each other. Mm-hmm. And, and, and Kevin Hart told him, bro, you can go in your closet and pick out hairlines. <laughs> you got so got a hairline closet. <laughs> hey, speaking of hairline, shout out to Paul George. Bro, he's hooping. That nigga hairline touched his eyebrow. He finna get an MVP. <laughs> bro, and they still be the best, bro. But, uh, <laughs> suck a cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nigga, that nigga gonna come out the door and <laughs> fucking yapo. <laughs> like, bro, there's five of us in here, nigga. We taking that. Bro, we gonna take a nigga with a gun? Hey, I mean, he can only shoot one time. Oh, look, nigga, I got a gun. Put Shaq in front of everybody? Hey, nah, bro, yeah. Shaq the big guy. Yeah, yeah, you you, you, you got to go first. Yeah, Shaq, you going to slow the bullet down, bro. Yeah, that's going to give us time to react. Hey, but I'm the one that's going to put the herd on him. Nah, you just got to go. Take the bullets, jump on them, and then let us do the rest. No, I ain't taking them. Hey, look, Shaq, when he shoots you, you're going to be at, like, 50% of your strength. So you'll still be, like, on our level. Yeah. You'll still be straight. Hey, bro, just show me, like, some real sick. Y'all get hard as a rock, nigga. We'll be straight. What? Yeah, I'm the man. Tier three. I'm the man of steel. Tier three. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, I didn't touch nobody. <laughs> you were thinking about touching me. Touch me. Tier, tier three. three. You said touch me? Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> tier three. No. Tier four. No, yeah, tier four the way you're saying it. Bro, don't put your hand <laughs> near my mouth. You got, you got, you got oh. a story? <laughs> I said don't put your hand. Yes, I did. But hold on. I'm trying to think which, like, leave them bad, but I don't know what it is. Oh, okay, yeah. So. Your boy was in high school. It was 11th grade. I had just stopped being sick. Nigga was trying to live life. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I went to one of my... It was my best friend's house. She had, like, a party. And I wasn't supposed to spend the night because my parents wasn't cool with me spending night at girls' houses and shit. But anyway, I did. But I had a girl at the time. She wasn't there. And she was like, I don't really feel comfortable with you spending the night with, like... Cause it was her best. I mean, it was my best friend who's a girl, and then a bunch of like girls. It was dudes there too. Like everybody was gonna spend the night, but she said she didn't feel comfortable with me spending the night with girls or whatever. And so I was like, "You're tripping, you know me. I'm a good man or whatever." But yeah, so we ended up playing like um, spin a bottle. Oh, I actually remember it was with this Corona bottle. That's why I fuck with Corona to this day. Sponsor me. <laughs> but yeah, no, we ended up playing, and then yeah, I ended up like uh, fucking kissing this girl or whatever, and I was kind of drunk. But this was high school. We was kids. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, I ended up kissing her like after for a little bit. We made out for a little bit. And yeah, no, I felt bad, bro, because I was still young. I I didn't want to be a piece of shit. But yeah, so we ended up falling asleep. I woke up the next day. I went to church, which that's actually where me and my girl met. She's, I think she still goes there. But anyway, so yeah, she was like, you have a good night, blah, blah, blah. Like she was like being so cheery and I felt so fucking dark. In my head, I was like, I apologize to her. I didn't tell her, but I was like, I should have listened to you. That party was so lame and shit. Like, you was right. I'll never fucking not listen to you again. <laughs> we ended up not lasting too long. It wasn't for that. It was for something else. What, you happy she broke up with me? Because now, <laughs> now he gets his chance. Now he gets his chance. Fuck you, nigga. He gets his chance now. Yeah. Yeah. Tier three. Tier three. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, she was right because that girl was a whore, first of all. So it wasn't really like I got something done. You know what I'm saying? It's mostly like, you know, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Mm, you know, we that's all, my style right there. Maybe go in there, get a little detail. Yeah, bro. We we all listened to that girl with over 100. <laughs> we was there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, does that really count? I think it counts. She told me not to do it, and it was a bad idea. She yeah. was right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I all right, that. yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, I don't cheat now. I'm a man of God, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, like, I don't cheat on my girl with other girls, at least. Go ahead, Shay. Oh, that's Tear that's for it. Right. Tear <laughs> for it. <laughs> Tier four, tier four. I feel me. like that was a tier. Tier three, tier five. Why you be invited? No, tier five, bro. That nigga's gay. What's the other question in life? Wait, Shaq, do you have a story? You don't have one. You want to go to your, you go to your Shaq subject? Shaq said he was never wrong when he was mm-hmm. arguing with a girl. Spit. Never lost. Always right. Never lost. Never lost. Yeah, I lost. Hey, watch. 
Shaq. I better not see no L's in that belt, boy. Wait, why are you looking at his belt? Mm. Mm. That's tears one. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, you tier three. I, I think tier you put with his eyes. Oh yeah, no, I didn't know if these were good questions. I was gonna let y'all decide. If you want to uh, have you ever taken any kind of trip with your lady? I'll say yeah, one All time. Right, uh, I take a plane. See, <laughs> no, with his lady, no, with his lady. No. No. What you afraid of saying about it? I never. No, had. I also want to take a trip with him. But what is that? What? Why you go? Oh, my. Come on, bro. You are not trying to go to South by Southwest or something? Maybe South by Southwest. <laughs> South by Southwest trash. I heard that. Did you say you met Trader Guy James, man? I met a lot of people. You said a really cool there, and humble dude, there, right? Uh, nah, I just said what's up to him. Cuddy was there, but he was in that 21 29. plus club, and I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, so was you 14. Was no, no, it was, it was like 2013, I think. Because I remember Wiz was there, too. Oh. But yeah, nah, I see what you mean. Because I was in that 21. Mm. So. But yeah, my story, uh, I was with this girl on my board. Wait, we just telling stories like a time we took a trip? Yeah, yeah, like, did it go well? I just want to, because, like, uh, I think I was watching Curb Your Enthusiasm. This nigga was talking about how, like, going on a trip with your wife or a girlfriend is, like, a big step to see how y'all, like, act when y'all out of y'all element and, like, not at either. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a definite. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, go ahead. So, I went to go see my homie, uh, my longtime uh, hometown homie, Chris. Shout out to Chris. Because he, he, goes, he goes to UT. He went to UT San Antonio. Damn, that's a party school? Is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's like well, well, we, well, he's like, hey, bro, just come down here. He said like, he'll help me out on gas and all that. And I asked, hey, you want And this is when me and her were basically seeing each other every day. It's like, dang, we're going to be without each other for either these few days or she going to come with. I mean, she's living with me, so. But this is like this is like one of my first relationships type thing, so. No, like, first, like, like I was doing something with her, but we wasn't in an official relationship. Was she but, living at your house? No, I was in the dorms at the time. Oh, okay. So, and then we lived in the same building. I mean, basically, because she'd stay over every night. She'd have clothes over in my drawers and stuff like that. Bullshit? No, we was at this time. We was. Oh, oh no, this I, time I, we I, was kind of like in the honeymoon phase I thought at this she time. Was just living with you, I was like, damn. This is no, but um. How long did the honeymoon phase last? It depends on the girl. Yeah, you can, I think like a month. Last relationship was my longest it's honeymoon first, phase. It's like, oh, I got her. Yes, sir. And then you like cool. Oh, see. And then, you, like, she started getting annoying. You're like, ah, shit. No, no, my honeymoon phase is when the sex stops. Oh, there it goes. It <laughs> huh? When does it stop? Hey, it stops when the sex starts no, to slow down. No, nah, y'all saw it like Jada Kiss got answered with a stop hey, sign. Yo. Yeah. yo, that's the dude from Power Rangers? Yeah, yeah his shit was gold, bro. Hold on, bro. Y'all gotta see fucking. Uh, and they got that. Um, uh, remember the Walmart smiley face? Wayne Brady got chased up with a smartphone. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> yo, yo, what happened to Walmart Smiley, dude? The Smiley guy? Oh, they, no, they have the stickers. They phased them out. They phased them out? They had some stickers of them at Walmart the other day. Man, I forgot all about Cash. Nigga gone. Let's get into your story, bro. But, uh, so we've seen each other every day. She spent the night every night. So, my, my, I was like, dang. I was like, I haven't seen him in, like, years, so let me go see him. And San Antonio from, like, here was, like, what, four or five hours? <sighs> my dumb behind decided to go late at night. Because I was going to go for the weekend Because the school I go to Our Fridays We don't have class So I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday So obviously on my Thursday I went And I came back on Sunday The trip there was alright But she fell asleep And so it was hard for me to get there all the way Because it was past like 2 or 3 a.m. And I'm, and I'm trying to make it And you know she's asleep I'm like yeah yeah It's alright if you sleep Me I'm dying on the road I'm like yo I need someone to help me I was dying. I, boy, I was falling asleep behind the wheel. Construction was happening. So I was like, I make one round move, my car is gone. <laughs> hey, don't worry, because the ride back was I was about to end it too. But, but um, we went there. The worst part about this whole situation, she was on her period. Oh, <laughs> so I'm out of town with this girl. I'm, I'm in a relationship. Uh, that drip, quote, drip. quote, relationship. Did you drip or die? I drowned. Yes. Told you, I told you. Just, just get in the shower. You good, my guy? <laughs> That's what I did. But uh, we went there. Oh, she was acting like such a spoiled brat. I don't feel like me and my homie. Because me and my homie, we just eat anything. Like, we ain't picky about nothing. We're like, oh, want to go here? Yeah, it don't matter. Her. Me and her. Oh, yeah, we about to go here. Her. I don't want that. Oh, now we had to add this new element of what does she want to eat instead of what we want to eat. We can't hang out as the boys. We can't talk about the girls because I went to all-girls school. 
it was just a weird situation. But I just didn't like her having her there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, next time I'm not breaking yeah, her. Never take your girl to go see your homies. Bro. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, family, cool. Yeah. Your homies, nah. When you go back home, that's when you go home and you can like leave her with the fam. You go hang out with your boys. Bro, that got never me. bring your girl with Has your that boys. Me like, I don't want my oh, girl never around. No, I'm not gonna boys. lie. The I trip back, the trip back, it was sensational. After Kane took over for his story, because I don't have another story, I have another story. I was rewarded after that long weekend. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Oh, see what you hit that butt. I mean, no. I mean, technically, I got that. You're a nasty nigga, bro. All right. Hey, yo, you're bad. I got the rodeo. I was raining, boy. I could have died. Anyways, all right. You're back to my story. Give me something clean and crisp. All right. My story was me and my girl were chilling. The girl I'm with now. And we was on Twitter, and we saw this whole thing in, like, Padre. And it was during the winter. And it was, like, this, like, lantern fest or some shit in Padre. And so we was like, fuck it. Let's go. And we went, and we I went right after work. Right. And so it was dark, and I had been working nine hours. And she wasn't trying to drive like that. Yeah. And so, like, on the way there, it's like, because South, South Padre, I've been twice. It's like an eight, nine-hour drive, I think. The one where people be partying for a yeah. spring break? Yeah, it's Did like, for, was that for spring I break? went for spring break, but we went during the winter. It was for, like, this lantern fest thing. Oh. And we was going, and, like, it was, like, two in the morning, but I was tired as fuck. And I was dead ass like, I like, cause she was she was sleeping in the car just like in your situation, and bro, I was dead ass like, I'd wake up in like the other lane, like th- like two lanes across, like I'm lucky I didn't fucking just end our shit because I could have just woke up just in a ditch. Wait, did your girl ask you to go to sleep or did she just go to sleep? No, she cause she was like, you drive half the way there or whatever, and then I drove like seventy five percent of the way there. Yeah. Like she, we got to San Antonio and then she drove, but like to San Antonio, like I drove the whole way. Why don't girls like driving? Nah, they, be, they be the first one wanting to take trips, but they don't want to be putting in yeah, for the trip. Yeah, they're not trying to drive. Now, nah, she she put in for the trip. Like, we, we split that up pretty. No, I mean, like, but, like driving. driving yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, bro, I started, like, I was tired as fuck, bro. Like, I was dead ass. Like, I would, like, swear I would see people, like, dip That's across the too. street. I I and I was seeing, like, I I was oh, fuck. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. Look, but, uh, hey, that's, it's but the trip, the trip for me, I guess it was because it was just me and her. And it was supposed to be like like a little romantic thing or whatever, so like that was the whole purpose. Cause like if I went with my like going to see like some boys or something, it could get awkward. But like, yeah, nah, it was a good trip for me. the The ride back wasn't that bad cause she actually drove and shit. But ooh nah, in Fort Worth, we was driving and they had like they was working on the roads. Fort Worth. Yeah, like when we came back, we came through Fort Worth. We was driving on the highway and they had them hoes like I thirty five with them big old center blocks on the side. Bro, I we saw a semi truck fucking. That nigga was driving. He hit that hoe and started. That hoe, bro, I thought it was finna be GGs for the whole highway, bro. I thought it was raps. But it caught balance and then kept on. Bro, them niggas, they hate, like, looking over. Like, yeah. yeah. Semi drivers be driving like they the only nigga on the fucking road. I mean, because they, I mean, bro, you in a semi truck. Nobody finna fuck with you, so. <laughs> Might as well, yeah. But my trip, my trip was pretty good. I don't have a bad trip. But all right, but I had a bad trip one time on some shrooms, nigga. Where I was <laughs> stuck. Where Tamario? You know when he gets small. Take your hand back. You say get small. All right, tutu. <laughs> First of all, you, you being nasty, bro. Come on. Um, but yeah, no, I was thinking actually when Chase was talking about, or no, when Tevin was talking about your girl meeting your boys. Have y'all ever had like y'all girl meet your boys and like they like hate she like hate them and don't want you hanging out with them or something like that? Dude, I got a, yeah, I got a story about that too. My old, like, in high school. Hmm? Well, no, she just hated my friends because she always thought we was doing like some hoe shit. So like, hoe no, I was, bro. I've, I'm a faithful dude, bro. I've, bro, I've never what cheated. What about what happened? Such a gas. Such a gas. Look, anyways. No, I said. He said he'll give it to you. Mm. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I think I'm like, I'm always the friend that. I'm always the friend that the girl don't like. Why? Cause, yeah, cause, yeah, I think I am because I always be being a dick. Like I'm always. Oh yeah, well, I know. Yeah, yeah the same girl I went on the trip with. Yeah, you know. I yeah, wanna, she don't like I me. Feel like I don't want to be cool with my homie girl because they, they gonna break up at some point, and I'm not gonna be cool with her after yeah, that. I don't. She over me. I don't know. I just I got cool with one of the homies like a couple. Like, I yeah, really don't. I don't want cool? that. No, I just I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of pressure because like if those stuff going on with them, they hit you up. Yeah, so yeah. I feel like you don't ever want to get caught in the middle of that yeah. shit. Yeah, like yeah, they 
it happened to me one time. Uh, <clears throat> I was best friends with this girl and her boyfriend. Like we had been friends independent. Niggas would be fighting and they would like hit me up, like asking me like whose side I'm on and shit. Not the together. Like they, I'd be texting one of them. Nigga, that shit was terrible. I had a question. <clears throat> oh, well, I was gonna tell my. This is a quick question. Do you ever feel like if like you kind of know it's not gonna work out if your girl doesn't like your homies because it's like dang your homies are gonna be there, oh, yeah, well, but homies, you might not be all yeah, the time. My homies is a lot like me. Most of them, even y'all, like kind of like me. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really hang out with that many niggas who are nothing like me. Yeah. So if you don't like me, I mean if you don't like them, it means we probably going to end up having a problem at some point. <laughs> That's what but I'm uh. Yeah, now one time, uh, oh, it was like my second semester up here. I was seeing this girl and like, when I first came, uh, 2015, it was 2015. Uh, my girl has heard the podcast. She does not like it. Damn, nigga. You cutting them off of the pod? Hey. Bro, you cutting them off of the But, uh, all right, yeah, so my second second <laughs> semester, it was twenty it was 2015, like, fall. I was seeing this girl, and, like, most of my homies that, like, I'm cool with the niggas who up here now, but back then, I was cool with, like, oh, because, uh, let me see, let me just say, my two roommates at the time, I still live with one of them. I've been knowing that nigga, you know, for, like, 12 years. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, those were really the only niggas I hung out with back then. So, one day, I brought her up to our apartment so she could meet them. <clears throat> And yeah, nah, she didn't. She didn't really fuck with him. Why not? I don't really know. Like my niggas, they don't really be doing shit. Like Literally. my roommate now, my girls have met him and they love him because he's cool. But them, I guess there was like a little more we, bro. It was being cool. Like I seen him, it was all good. She just said she didn't like the vibe of him or some shit like that. But that's when you first. Yeah, no. Then we would hang out around him, like it being in the living room and shit, because you know I didn't have a car and I didn't have no money, so right. we wouldn't go nowhere. But yeah, and she would just she would never like she'd be like they'd be like hey how you doing she'd be like oh hey you know how girls be when they don't like you they want to let you know right. yeah <clears throat> so anyway nigga yeah eventually like she didn't want to hang out with me if they was gonna be there too and like you know eventually I don't think it was they I don't, I don't blame them or her not liking them because I ended up not liking her too much either but it did make it weird when like I couldn't hang out with my niggas and my girl at the same time. Even though I hate doing that anyway, but yeah, yeah, sometimes, like, if we was going to go to a party or some shit, she'd be like, they coming, I'd be like, yeah, and she, like, because they driving. And she'd be like, no, nah, I don't want to go then. Let's chill at the house. And eventually, you know, got to that place. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, if I have to choose between some some pussy and my homies, nigga, I'll pick, I'll pick the homie. Yeah, bro. That, that, yeah, bro. That's, nigga, three bussies over one pussy? <laughs> that's easy. That's quick maths. He told me, I told my Jesse, he said, what? Tell him, no, man. He told him, hold up. He got his ass beat trying to get some pussy. Oh, oh that shit was hilarious, bro. Hey, nigga, that boy pussy. Hey. Yo, I, feel like, I feel like, I feel like, because one relationship, one of the girls didn't like me. Yeah. But me, I already was like, this ain't going to work out. So. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. I mean, who does like cousins? Not too many people like me. Facts. I do. Well. I already told you, if you wasn't my cousin, I'd hate you with yeah. my guts. <laughs> I already yeah, do. Nigga. Yeah, I was an asshole. Though. Back then, I was. Wait, wait, was. You said was. <laughs> He's just lesser. But I'll take this tier three violation. Tier four. Yo, hey, I ain't letting go. One of my one of my other exes, she didn't like my roommate. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a tough. That's tough. It's like you you can't make that. But this is like someone that's been with me like since I've been like since I've been moved over here in the red. So I'm like, why you don't like my homie? I'm like, yeah. I'm like. I thought that's what I'm like. I'm like, he ain't. She's like, no, he's annoying. All right, Chase. So you bring a girl to Walmart, right? I bring a girl to Walmart. It's like your girlfriend. She meets Kane. She doesn't like Kane. You dumping her, bro? She'd be like, I don't like that nasty little nice skin nigga. I like why? Breaking up with her right then. The real thing is when your girl say your homie's cute. Do y'all get any of, like. Bro, my niggas is cute, all right? No, but now, all right. My homeboy, his mom always called me cute. He never wanted me around his mom. Because his mom said I was cute, so he wouldn't let me around his mom. He told me, no, I'm just saying, it's just like, I wouldn't do that. But I'm just saying, like a couple of, like some people I knew in school, they, like, we used to hang out, they girls, you know what I mean? They came on to a guy. 
but I never did nothing because I'm like, yo, if you've been in my crib, I never touch your girl, bro. But if you never been inside the crib, your girl's all, you know, she's she's yeah, she's a, all game. No, it's just my rule. If you've been in my room, that means I, I allowed you I to come in. Cool. Yeah, I let you come in my place. Of why, this is why I lay my head at night. I allow you to come in here means I trust you. I don't let too many people in here. Oh, yeah, that boy, Stephen A. Sweet, he had the line up. Yeah. Hey, you know what I mean? He used to be hooping. Look when he was in high school, he used to be hooping. Yeah, he used to be, he used to be chilling. But, yeah, man, I don't know. It's just different things with your girls, with the homeboys. It's a lot of it's a lot of what ifs. It's crazy. I don't get when some girls don't be like your homeboys, and your homeboys be just like you, kind of. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, yeah. But, you know, but your usually homeboys, I don't. But your homeboys don't know they're romantic and nice. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's Except usually, I don't know, as long as she don't like, Tier one. as long as she don't like, she's not like just flat out like disrespectful to niggas oh, or I nothing. On them quick. Don't yeah, as long as it's not disrespectful, like if she just like, as long as she don't hate them, if she just thinks they're like annoying or something, yeah. like I, don't know, I could care less. But, but as long as she's not like just constantly like, why do you hang out with this nigga? Like yeah. just cooking that nigga all the time. Bro, what, <laughs> that'd be, that'd be Bro, what would you do if your girl met your homie and she was like, damn, you know them niggas all know that you love them? I mean, I'm like, okay. Hey, nah, nah, <laughs> I, got, I got one more thing that I don't know. This is the last thing we, I guess to talk about. But I, my best friend, uh, like a lot of people should be like, hey, why you hang out with him? And like, I had girls that's like, he's lame. <laughs> like, they'll call my best friend lame yeah, and they'll yeah. piss me yeah, off. That, just I just like, he is not lame at all. You yeah. don't even know him. I feel like like when you don't know somebody, you just can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's that used to. Yeah. Because it's like, you don't even know. You're just saying that because. Yeah, that you used to. That pissed me off when a girl say like my best friend lame or something. I'm like, yo, you're bugging. Yeah, I, yeah. I straight up stopped talking to a girl because he said one of my yeah. best friend was lame. Zach, you got any? Any uh? Good friend, no dog. Nigga, are you good? Bro, bro it's the ice cream. Bro. I told you. Oh, yeah. I know. What about two pints? Nigga got that. Shit. I didn't eat the little. You ate two pints? No, no he bought two. Well, he ate the one shit. earlier from the day. I, told I don't you. know why you ate that much ice cream. And then the work you That's do? That's that dairy. Jack said because he cold, bro. No, obviously he's not now. That's that Can't dairy and that nigga good. Hey, look, dude, you're drowning right now. I am drowning, bro. Dog, hey, respect him, hurt. bro. Oh, yeah, Chase was slandering swimming earlier. Kill him, tell him. Swimming. He had the Mac Miller. Oh, because I re-listened to it? Yeah. Oh, I talked to him about it. Oh, damn. I was trying to start some beef. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, tell Instigator. <laughs> Is that it for the podcast, guys? Yeah, that's about it, man. Hold on, let me make sure. I mean, you got to comment somewhere if you want to talk about that. <laughs> nah, I ain't really got nothing for that. Hey. I'm oh, yeah, don't fuck. forget. Tevin is a pedophile. I'm not. She said he wanted to fuck a baby. <laughs> wow. Make sure everybody remembers. Uh, don't forget, y'all. If you use the tier system, give credit. Ruby Kane. R-U-B-Y-K-N-E. Go there, say some gay shit in his chat. He likes that. I love it. Oh, yeah, shout out that Two nigga. One. Wait, does D stream too? What's his name? Uh, Ruby R U B Y underscore Parks P A R K S. Oh right, yeah, shout out to him. Unnecessarily fired. Also, <clears throat> I only speak for myself on this one. Fuck Walmart, nigga. Jenny, you got a big ass head, bitch. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I was kidding. <laughs> Closing notes, people. Sauce <laughs> Malone out. Oh yeah! Uh, shout out to shout out to homie Levi too. Or Le- Lehigh, Lehigh, my bad. All right, this is Deuces from <clears throat> Kane. Hey man, I'm just glad to have my blood here. You know what I'm saying? We out. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. You can catch the podcast at Get YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Look, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, bro. No, because I'm saying that because, you know, Anchor just joined Spotify. And, Anchor boys and plus, Anchor, Anchor just turned free a few days ago. Hey, Google Playboys, we eating. The podcast is on air now. It's actually a Google podcast by now. It's whatever. All right. And we're out.